Ladies and gentlemen, episode number 519, live. Welcome to the fall's biggest SPV of 2023. Welcome to TWA Revolution. We are finally we here. Months in the, in the making. Wrestling excellence bar Stories. Is about to rivalries. Raise the bar in sports fiery feuds. Again. Faction T-H. wars. Tag team battles. It's been a tremendous last couple of months. And man, oh man, do we have a thrill ride tonight. 14 match epic event card. And of course, we're going to get things started immediately with a bang. We need to see the first match of the night. But we're going to get into the dirt sheets. We also have a list for tonight. And uh, there's a lot of going on in the dirt sheets. I mean, for instance, Tony Khan addressing rumors of him buying New Japan Pro Wrestling. Interesting, yeah? I mean, I doubt that's going to happen. I don't even know if Tony Khan could... I don't even know if he has the money to purchase it because New Japan is is kind of a huge company, right? It's uh, that's got to come at quite the price, and I don't even know if Tony Khan has that. Con- but I mean, who knows? I don't know. But we're gonna have a look at that, and of course, uh, Grayson Waller says he's still not 100 percent after suffering that broken leg back in April. So there's some stuff going on in the dirt sheets. Uh, the list for tonight, I thought was fairly intriguing. Uh, it's actually from uh, calnow.com, and it's the 10 WWE superstars with the most pay-per-view matches in history. And welcome in. What's going on? Welcome to the broadcast booth. How's well, going? What's new and exciting? Have you just gone? Have you just gone live? I, I, we just went live. Oh, this is. So you are now I live. I didn't say that you're live. I mean, the focus is weird. That is weird. You know, I haven't. I have, you obviously know I have it on quality. <laughs> I don't even have my dashboard open to see who's doing what, but hold on. Now that you've actually reminded me, I need to do that. There we go. People sneak up on me and do dumb shit, right? Like Glenola. He would sneak in and drop a swear jar while I'm not paying attention just, just to catch me right off the bat like he did a couple of shows ago. He is a sneaky little bastard. He is a villain. But, uh, oh, the channel point makes me not be able to swear. So... You, so you were playing some some ultimate team, you said. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, uh, if you want to introduce yourself, I mean, for those that don't know who the other voice that you're hearing is on the broadcast booth right now. Well, everyone knows me. Everybody knows Luke the Gooner ninety four. I thought of it. It is Luke the Gooner on the broadcast booth. Um, but yes, yeah, so you've been playing. Uh, what's it? What is it? Yeah, EA yeah. FC 24. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So and and you were avoiding for a while playing Ultimate Team because it's not really your so your traverse. fancy. But then Together you decided you, yeah. you decided fuck it. I'm gonna play it. And, and you've been playing it. <laughs> and how's that been going? With the um, well, hey, Sir Jack the Greatest is in the house. Sir Jack the Greatest is in the house. Lion Sin Escanor is also in the house. Welcome in. Life is great is here. What's going on, life? It's hard to feel like I don't play it. It's like, it's not that makes your team feel like it's shit when it's not. Right. Where, like, the players in the next game could be shit, and you go into the next game, your team's fucking amazing again. Now, are you are you playing as Arsenal? Who are you playing as? I am. I am playing as Arsenal, yes. You are, okay. Now, here's another question. Can you, or do you, can, like, can you create your own uh, player, your own football player? One, four matches. Yeah, you can, again. Yeah, no. Now, do you have one? Is it in, is it in your season? There's a game mode called uh, Pro Clubs, where you can play with your friends and that, build your own club and that, and it's your created players and stuff. So you do all, like, football players, basically. Lions and Escobar says... You one player and play a position. Like, it's like NHL, NHL have that, though. So it's the same, same type of idea. See, I've never yeah, played, yeah. so I don't yeah. really know. I don't... Um, I have watched people is, play. That, that, that's one specific mode, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I used to watch Coach B. Henry. He, he, well, Coach B. Henry's his name in the fucking game. Coach B. 3TVB used to be to his, his or I think it still is his, his username. But anyways, I drove uh, he played FIFA all the time. Left. And, uh, would play World Cup and all that stuff. So I used to watch him play. And then, of course, when I started watching you, yeah. uh, watching your channel, you were playing, what, is it Pez? Yeah, yeah, Pez, yeah. Pez, and and then there was the other one you were playing too, though, which was what? That was FIFA too, or FIFA, yeah, FIFA, yeah. Yeah, whatever yeah. you want to fucking call it. It's yeah. football. Yeah, it's football. It's fucking football. That's what we're. 
But anyways, I'm uh, a football fan, so I, I give both football games. I give both. Football, I give them both a go. I mean, I'd give any football game a go. Like, it doesn't matter um, what like what what teams are in the game. I'll just I'll give it a go. If it's a good football game, I'll play it. Lionson says, 14 matches? This is going to be insane. You bet your ass it's going to be insane. A thrill ride, a barn burner. I have, like, I have played. Yes, because there's only one, six one, 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 came one, into the hands game. on yeah, Randy Orton. So I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty sick of it at the moment. <laughs> Yo, Strife! Yeah, yeah. Life says, I need to make up a story quick to keep Archer fascinated. Hmm, I drove my car into a... You drove your car into a lake? Strife. Why in the fuck did you drive your car into a lake? I mean, I do like interesting stories. I hate when people come in and you say, Hey, how's it going? What's new and exciting? And they say, Oh, nothing. Just chilling, eating a donut, and thinking about uh, dirty magazines. I was Actually, done. the dirty magazines would be an addition. That would be an interesting addition. They don't say yeah. that. They should. Although, who reads magazines anymore? No, so that, at yet. that point, it's a boring story. But my tire is flat. Uh, no, not yet, but my tire is flat. Wait, what? What did I miss? I need to make up. I drove my car into a lake. Why the fuck did you do that? Is what I, that's what I said. Escobar only singles laws came due to the hands on Randy Orton. How's the low holding out, Archer? Um, and then life says no. See how no, spoke to strive. Or sorry, no, not yet. But my tire is flat. How does Excuse that correlate me, to depressed. anything I said or that was involved with you driving a car into the? Into have you been hanging yet. out with Glenola? Yeah. Life, listen. You got don't hang around that man. He is a bad influence. Him and his little Glenalian pets, they corrupt your mind. Stop it. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Jack says, see how life spoke to strife, and I did see that, Jack. I I, I did see that. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be depressed. Um, life says, I haven't driven my car into the lake yet. Oh, you haven't drove it, so you're going to drive your fucking car into the lake. Now, can we ask why you might... Luke, why the fuck is she driving her car into the lake? Does that seem normal to you? What is... Driving a car into a lake, is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Oh, that sounds like Grand Theft Auto, if you ask me. That be... Hey! Life, is it your car? Sounds like fucking Grand Theft Auto. Did you jack somebody's car? Yeah, and door, perhaps door. it could be a vengeance thing. She's just said she'd drive that puppy right in the lake. Yeah, oh, oh, wait. Maybe, maybe she killed one of her, her cast from the play she's in, and she hid the body in the car, and she's driving that puppy into the lake. <laughs> well, I don't see any other reason to drive a fucking car into the lake. I'm confused. Oh. I mean, I do like a great, entertaining story, but this one's fucking with me. I'll, I'll drive, the whole story is I'm going to drive the car into the lake. Well, why? It's my car, unfortunately. It's my car. I am going to have to replace the tire four times this year. Make it the police. Make it the police. Lions says have Archer in the car yeah. when you drive into the lake. Somebody AKO Lions in Escanor, please. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Take that, Escanor, just in advance. Um... It's my car, unfortunately. I've needed to replace the tire four times. So you need to replace your tires four times in the year, so you're just going to say fuck just it and drive it in the lake? Level cheat from GTA. That does not Emoji make any sense to me. Because then you gotta you got to pay for more than just tires at that point. And I mean, you're replacing interior. Not to mention your engine just got flooded with water. I mean, that's a whole issue in itself. Why did that not work? Try that again. Life without the at symbol. I'm immortal. You're immortal. That sounds like a challenge. Life Lion Sin is challenging you. He just flat out laid a challenge down. Not that you don't have a whole set of challenges in itself in driving a car into a lake, but... There it is! Out of nowhere, AKO Lionson, 30 second time out with a dunce cap. IT worked. There you go. And, and might I say, job well done. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. 
But anyways, um, so yeah, so so you have a player, you have a created player in your in your football season, man. Thousand then? years I've laid dormant. Is what you're saying, Luke? My slumber. Virgil, glad I'm not nah, totally in the different world called them. Eternity is boring. Oh, okay. Your own player, and you play online with people. Oh, I see. Okay, so so what is it you're playing? Predominantly. It's good when it's shit when people don't pass it. Fucking annoying. Yeah, that does get annoying. You, you can't make what? you can't make a player though on the start of career mode with your own player on your team. I mean, when I used to play with Arsenal. When I used to play uh, sports games, I wouldn't play with yeah, other people, yeah. but I, I would much prefer to play by myself. But, you know, sometimes you gotta I share. Like uh, Lineson says, For a thousand years I've laid dormant. Who dares awake my slumber? Well, that was life. I don't think I she really awoke your slumber, though. She, she AKO'd your ass. Soup's lip is great. Up into a powerful bear hug. She did. Lip is great Glad I'm not the only immortal. Finally Eternity is, is boring, great. Strife says. Now, don't be entertaining Lionson's delusions of grandeur, great. Strife. That is not nice. Up into a powerful bear hug. Flailing you need to learn to play nice, sir. Around like a rag doll. All right, Finally before we get into any further suit. discussion about Luke's uh, football season, because it is intriguing. <laughs> It is intriguing, especially when he's raging. Uh, yeah. Especially if he gets raged out. But anyways, oh, we may as well get the show on the go. We have 14 matches of pure fire. TWA Revolution, let's get the show on the go, starting with the first match of the evening. Imagine and it is, of course, the Oka, Ricochet, and Braun Strowman Virgil, challenging nice Animal and Hawk, the nature, Road Warriors, for the Junior Tag Team Championship. That is our first match that of the night. We're going to get the show on the go. Tone setter of the night, ready to roll. And then we'll, of course, uh, uh, you know, Luke is having a bathroom break. So we won't be talking to Luke again until God knows when. We may need to call a tow truck to get him out of there. Uh, but anyways, in the meantime, we're, of course, going to have a look at the dirt sheets as soon as we get the show on the go. And again, there's some interesting stuff going on in there. I want to see what's going on with the rumors of Tony Khan purchasing New Japan Pro Wrestling. I mean, I don't see that happening, but it'll be interesting to see what he has to say about it. I mean, clearly he's addressing the rumors, so it will be interesting as far as that goes. And there's a whole plethora of other things going on. But here we go. The Occult. Braun Strowman and Ricochet challenging the Road Warriors for the Junior Tag Team Championship. It is time to get the show rocking and rolling. Time to turn and burn. Tone center of the night. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's see. Strife says, uh, that is not something you want. And then says, hell yeah. All right. Now, do remember this is an SPV and or a special SPV event, whatever you want to call it. So if you want the betting races. lines open, you can redeem that. Otherwise, as always, the betting lines do not open to the championship rounds, which is the, the final three matches of the show. Uh, Lionson said, Escador, I stand at the pinnacle pounds. of all races. And Good job. It's getting poetic in the chat room. Next thing you know, we're going to be breaking out Shakespeare. What the fuck is going on? What is wrong? You need to work on yourself, Lionson. What is wrong with you? There can only be one Strife. Don't be trying to copy Strife. Strife is the man. Or men. One of those two. He is the people. He is all the people. Likely in his own head, too, to be fair. The building starts to rumble. Now, Strife, again, you're entertaining the delusions of grandeur. And by the way, he's, you know, he's trying to mimic you. He's a fan of Strife. He is a fan of Strife. Strife is the people. Exactly. That's what I said. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have that was a direct quote. Not very often you could say that. Eskinor says that in the anime. I've I've never seen it. I know of it. I do know people that watch it. I do not. No particular reason. 
I just don't. You know, I've never taken the time to let me take to watch it. To say happy Thanksgiving to so I, I can't make any comments tonight. on the show. I gotta say, I don't know but, if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's yeah, just I've never seen it. By the way, what do you think of the new TWA logo? The Urgent Wrestling Alliance logo, and of course, we included YTD Academy right on the main logo. We can thank one Joe Link for that. Joe Link and I got talking, and we decided that it was due time that we have a new logo for TWA. James West is in the house. What's going on, James West? Welcome into TWA Revolution, episode number 519, sir. The biggest SPV of 2023 this fall uh but yeah anyways uh lion said I, i've never seen it so i but yeah what do you guys think of the new twa logo again we can thank joe link for that can we get a shout out for joe link please life could you What's shout out joe link for here? me even maybe give him a special shout out once you're done it's always nice to have the special shout outs because you can actually follow the person without actually clicking a link and leaving the channel I don't like to look at his of course, you can follow anybody folks. by just clicking on their name, not to mention, but. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, James, I said, I seen a Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition coming next month for PS5 and next year PC. Uh, Lionson says, Strife. When was Virgil created? Meet the barricade. Indeed, Strife. When was Virgil created? What are you guys thinking? A question we all want to know the answer to. The refs count, Cole. Or maybe not all of us, but. But anyways, all right. So let's dive into the dirt sheets here. I like the new logo. Uh, we're gonna start with that. It's a an article from. A, WrestlingInc.com and it was published by Kelly Alouette. Uh, AEW's Tony Khan addresses rumors of him buying New Japan Pro Wrestling. So October 1st we'll see AEW's next and newest pay-per-view Wrestle Dream with AEW CEO Tony Khan previously saying Hey Luke, what's going on Luke? Welcome back. Uh, previously, you gotta go. One, you gotta go. <laughs> What's that? Oh, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, Khan previously stating that he created the pay per view in honor of pro wrestling legend and the founder of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Antonio Inoki. During the Wrestle Dream press conference, Khan addressed rumors of him buying New Japan Pro Wrestling because he said the event would mark the end of an era. Uh, Khan is appreciative of the speculation around the new pay-per-view, but surprised by rumors of him buying the Japanese promotion. And he says, this is a quote, I think it's really good that we created all that speculation around Russell Dream, but I'm a little surprised how that speculation picked up, specifically uh, the transactional nature of it, because we have such a great partnership right now, and we are doing such great things with New Japan Pro Wrestling, said Khan. I was a little surprised to see that overall. I really enjoyed working with New Japan Pro Wrestling for nearly two years. We have been partners now. Khan uh, was later asked to clarify his end of an era comments, to which he revealed he had no intentions to do so, primarily due to the pay-per-view sales. He said, I definitely have no intention of clarifying what I meant by those comments. I want people to order the pay-per-view, but I definitely also never speculated that. I think the internet kind of ran away with the speculation based on I don't know what, honestly. Uh, the AW president also added how there are people who help out from New Japan Pro Wrestling to work shows for AEW or Ring of Honor and AEW ROH stars who have wrestled in New Japan events like Dominion. Wrestle Dream is going to include two major New Japan Pro Wrestling stars, the inaugural uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling World Television Champion, Zack Sabre Jr., and IWGP UK Champion, Will Ospreay. Um, so, Tony Khan not buying New Japan Pro Wrestling, for anybody that actually thought that. I mean, it's weird that people thought that. I just, as soon as I saw that rumor, I was like, yeah, no, that's probably not happening. I mean, continue to be in a partnership and work together. Yeah, sure, why not? If, if, it, if it benefits them, I don't, I don't know that it does, but... 
Yeah. That new logo looks good in the middle of the ring. Just noticed now. I mean, earlier I was looking at the the logo that uh, is the watermark for the show. Now that I get a good look at the logo. Yeah, that's the new TWA logo. I mean, we, we got talking and decided it was time to change it up. We'd had the same logo for a long time. And I was looking for an idea on a new one, and that's that's what we came up with for that. And then, of course, he did the, he also did the TWA uh, Revolution logo, uh, the YTD Dark logo. We have a new Clash of the Titans logo. And, of course, he also created me a Coalition logo uh, for, for a future usage. So... Uh, yo, Kobe Best. Edge. It, I'm confused by, by that. But at this point, I don't know if it'd be a good idea to open the betting line. I'm not sure how much longer this match is going to uh, run for. So if you, if you wanted a betting line open, it'd ha probably best to wait till the next match at this point, I would think. But anyways, welcome in, Kobe. Uh -oh. Appreciate you being here. Welcome to the TWA Revolution, episode number 519 for TWA. Hope you had a great day. Enjoy the show and the community. Um, very, uh, Strife, did you open the betting lines earlier? I got talking and didn't. No, you didn't. No, nope, you didn't. Uh, Strife says, no need, we know how it works. A tier 3 anime. Anyways, um, so what did you think when you saw that rumor floating around? Look about Tony Khan potentially buying New Japan for wrestling. Did you see it? Um, I didn't see it, but it's done good enough for me. It's like... The thing is, though, it's going to differ out. The question is, I wonder how much um, New Japan Pro Wrestling is worth. I should look it up. I'm going to look it up. Give me a sec. I don't know, like, how could you all three fucking pick it? You It's broken from, like, all three. You can't, really. It's like... You got all your own ring of honor. You are the AEW, you want to fucking want to go on and use the band. Um... Ripped in the hard way. This what the hell? Well, maybe they could buy them. So if this is correct... Oh, yeah. Listen to this, this is from StatSmash.com. If this is correct, New Japan Pro Wrestling... Now this is as of September of 2023. New Japan Pro Wrestling is a Japanese YouTube channel that has a net worth of $104,000. Again, as of September 2023. Of course, that could be just talking about their YouTube channel. Let me try something else. That looks like they're just talking about the YouTube channel. That can't be the net worth of the entire company. Uh, there we go. Trying to find the net worth. Oh, the monster among men. Look at the power. All right, so as of 2023, doesn't give a specific month. New Japan Pro Wrestling's net worth is 120 million. So actually, Tony Khan probably could swallow them up if he really wanted to. Whether or not that happens, he could. Buy. He could, buy. He could yeah. yeah, anybody could. Any any reputable wrestling promotion. Oh, well, Vince can't do anything anymore, really. But they definitely and Ever Group could definitely swallow that up with ease. With ease. But. Uh, now, now that I now that I see the net worth, now that I see the net worth of the company, and and the the rumors that have already been swirling, right? Now I wonder 
Especially because he, he refuses to clarify certain statements because he wants to sell pay-per-views. Which, actually, he actually said that himself. Now I'm wondering maybe if there isn't more truth to it, maybe. You know, like maybe there is something in the works and it just got slipped out type of thing. I mean, 120 million. Tony Khan could easily come up with 120 million. I actually thought I thought New Japan would have been worth more than that. I really did. I got them to tell it over there. Well, I thought it. I thought I'm. I thought closer to a billion dollars because I mean they're they're huge over there. I think we know who's coming next. Okay, people, the Japanese look this up in Russia. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're huge over there. I'm just, I'm, I'm... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Do I want Tony Khan to buy New Japan Pro Wrestling? No. <laughs> you know, I just, I just, I would not want him to swallow that company up too. I mean, he already has, he already has Ring of Honor and uh, what three shows of his own that he doesn't consistently run at an entertaining uh, pace. I guess I'll just say that for lack of better words. Right now. When I was, when I couldn't get into AEW before, I, I, I always like wondered what the fuck are all these shows about, the like, is it, yeah. is it all these shows that I'm like, I don't know, what, I don't even know where it's at. I think they simply did it That's because, ball, it? I think they did it because they just had way too many people on their roster. They had to do something with them. They didn't. They didn't want to be. You know. They didn't want to look like they were another company that just has a bunch of talent, nothing to do with them. But I have no idea. Mark Henry, all of them. What are they doing? Miro. Where's Miro? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's craziness over there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um. Yo, Bernard F26, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Fam Jam, and welcome into TWA Revolution. It's our fall SPV of 2023, and of course, episode number 519 for TWA. So welcome in, enjoy the show, enjoy the community. If anybody wants to help them out with some information, how we can join the Discord, how we can subscribe over on YouTube and join us on YouTube when we're uploading content and or live with YTD Live. Thank you, Life. Sorry, you did what? Oh, you did? Do you have pictures of that? Like, can you post pictures on the Discord? Hell yeah. Make sure you do that. I wouldn't mind that people know about Well, you could send Joe Link a message and ask him, like, if he went, if when he has time, if he'd look into creating. A, a supernova logo for it. Logo for you. I mean, like, do you have any ideas of what you would want for supernova? Like, I mean, he may. Joe Link is very creative, so he he may very well have some ideas for you. Yeah, I would I would I would send him a message. Just send him a DM on Discord, and. Uh, Tell him you'd yeah, like yeah. like a new logo, and if he has the time, if he wouldn't mind uh, coming up with something for you, I guarantee he'll do it. Adam Cole versus CM Punk. That's a pretty badass way to start the show. Um, thank you for dropping the Discord and the YouTube link. Life appreciate it. Strife talking as Virgil. In a world that doesn't exist, but in a cartoon. I tried to think about it, that's what we all. It's just a joke, it's a complete different joke, that's what. It's then the one you have, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I knew that, I knew that. 
Yeah, yeah, you've told me that before, yeah. Although yeah, I guess you didn't I guess you didn't tell everybody else though, so now they know. Uh, Virgil doesn't uh, exist, but in a game, uh, so same thing. The people that watch me know that's going to be major. Ryan Sin and Strife are still going on about uh, Virgil and Eskino oh, and other such things. <laughs> Savages. Um, so do you already have? So what are you going to do when you launch your new show? Are you going to have like a draft? And have people sent over to the show, or do you already have a roster um, in mind? Or so again, I'm Luke the Gooner, who has LCW, is he's now going to have two shows instead of one, is what we're discussing here. Yeah, yeah, both. Virgil, Lion Sin is going to be two, three. I'm not in the yeah. What's the half by it? It's going to be kind of like it's going to be like kind of like you know how AEW is like certain super stars appear on shows. Right. Yeah. So, like Yo, like dog face in the house. Like What's going on, dog? Can we get a shout out for dog face, please? Like, you'll see certain people on death row, and you'll see certain people on beef and over. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do a four round of four. We will, we will do that. 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 We we also get a special shout out for Dogface as well, so that if people aren't already following, they can just click that heart and follow him. He's got an amazing community and channel. They're, of course, intertwined with the Archiverse, and they've, they've always been a lot of fun uh, to not only work with here at TWA. I mean, do the, the Doghouse and Team Dogface were the original invaders of TWA. They came over here and cleaned house and won a bunch of championships like a bunch of savages. Uh, but I love going to his channel. He's, it's it's always a great time over there. He puts on a fantastic show. He's got a, again a great community, and you'll know more, you'll know a lot of the people. But he's got even more people over there that you may not know, and it's a fantastic community. We have, we have such a great time over there. Uh, so definitely follow Dogface if you're not already for some strange, nonsensical, crazy music. I forget who recommended me the dog face, but I, I must thank them. Yo, Glenola, and uh, you, hopefully not the Glen aliens with them, but Glenola, jumping in the broadcast booth, tried to scare the shit out of us, but we saw him in the peripheral vision. It did not work tonight, sir. The Glen aliens come in peace. Glen aliens are friends. Never in peace, never friendly. Always villainous and treacherous. It is a ghastly lie. Do not listen to that shit. <laughs> Um, uh, hello, Luke the Gunner. Hey, Archer. Uh, it's good hey. to see you streaming tonight. I do not stream ever. Gaslight. Good to see you live. Has it been that been long, long since I've been live? You forget what we do here? What is wrong with you? You need to work well. on yourself. Can somebody, <laughs> hey, can somebody give Dog a, uh, a gift sub so he doesn't have to watch ads? That'd be cool. Well, uh, oh, I got two minutes of ads. If anybody is feeling generous, let's get Dogface a gift sub. <laughs> I have to watch it advert as well, yeah. Dogface deserves a gift sub. I thought, I thought it was something. I you thought got you got about a minute and a half. A minute and a half for... Ads. Ads. Oh, you got the Gasly ads too. Glenola needs one too. <laughs> <laughs> we need one for, for Dog and we need one for, for Glenola. Oh, boom! Just like that. There you go, Dog. Glenola's next. Hey, Life. I might, I might, I might get one. <laughs> Come on. I appreciate that, Life. You're fucking awesome. Life has been dropping. She's up to 21 gift uh, subs in the channel now. It's crazy. Yeah. Very, very generous. We appreciate life. I mean, for more than just gift subs. Thank you for the shout out. Um, you guys do what? I gotta tell you, this has been one fucking hell of a match between Ocult and the Road Warriors. I can't get over how back and forth it is. I, I honestly hear. I'm, I'm just going to say it as as it is. I thought Ocult would have creamed them. I'm not going to lie. I thought they would come in and just wipe the floor with... Well, not may, maybe not wipe the floor with them, but I thought they would have been fairly dominant against the Warriors. But man... 
This has been a great match. What a great way to start tonight. And there's a gift sub for Linola. Thank you, Fly, for gift sub. I appreciate that. Hashtag life support. I like that. Hashtag life support. We should put that on the back of, like, Kyle Riley's jersey or something. Oh, he doesn't wear a jersey. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> but on the back of his jacket or something. Hashtag life support. Oh, uh, Life says, oh, Shucks getting thrown at the window by a friend and being caught by another friend. Who the fuck threw you out of a window? <laughs> what did I miss? Now I gotta go. See, now you got me scrolling back and reading the chat. I should just ban your ass. Uh-huh. I've confused myself about being thrown out the window. Oh, well, earlier... Sir Jack threw it out the window. Oh, Sir Jack did? Okay. Somebody drop a house on Jack, please. I should have his own command where if we drop a house, it times out Jack. That would be fun. Except for he's a mod. So we can't do that. But, you know. Alright, let's see here. What is going on here? Please and all Johnny Joe. Sorry, say that again. Team Glenola Johnny Joe for that. Oh, Team Glenola Johnny Joe. So if you redeem that, yeah. Glenola has to tell a Johnny Joe. Did you redeem one? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Is this, is this, is this no, there hasn't been one yet, but oh, I just okay. figure I better right. prepare. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so before you came in, we were actually Luke and I were talking about um, the potential of AEW overall purchasing New Japan Pro Wrestling. So he made a comment about Wrestle Dream uh, being the end of an era, and of course they've been working very closely the past couple years with New Japan Pro Wrestling. All of a sudden, there was a rumor swirling that, you know, he was potentially buying New Japan Pro Wrestling, which I thought, here, I thought, uh, I said to Luke, I thought the company was worth a lot more than it is, because they're huge over there. Huge over there. I thought they would easily have been worth close to a billion dollars, at least. So I thought, no, no way, no way Tony Khan is going to purchase a, a billion dollar company. So we looked it up, and I was surprised that, uh, as of this year, New Japan Pro Wrestling's net worth is only $120 million. He could easily come up with that. That is like a day's worth of interest from one of his companies. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, he could easily do it. So now I'm wondering, just because he said end of an era, because he's he's having a tribute show to Antonio Noki, which is the founder of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Right? That's that's what he's doing with the Wrestle Dream. And people automatically took the end of an era. I'm wondering if it is it just the end of an era comment that made them say that, or is there other reasons people are talking about it? But now that I know the company is only worth 120 mil, and the Tony Khan could in fact do that, now I'm wondering if he's going to eventually. So I don't think Tony's going to buy it. I don't know. It's it's. Well, yeah. He could buy it. He already has some Florida for me. He's got, he's got too much on his plate as it is, though, in my opinion. I mean, ROH still is not a regular uh, show like it was. It used to be once a week on TV. You barely see it except for the occasional pay-per-view, right? Um, you've got Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, a whole bunch of talent that we're not even sure what they're doing with. Again, three years in, Chris Jericho is still the biggest star, and that's a problem. Not, it's not a problem because Chris Jericho is the star. Chris Jericho is is a wrestling wizard, a, a god of wrestling. No, no pun intended to uh, JBL, of course, but he he deserves to be put in on the in the spotlight for sure. But he, they by now should have at least one or two other big stars. And some at least in the works. And they don't. They keep trying to hire WWE guys. Wow, look at that. That is it. That is all, ladies and gentlemen. The winners of the match and new junior tag team champions. It is Hawk and Animal, the Road Warriors, the new junior tag team champions. Wow. Crazy. 
not only did I think Ocult would win that match, and not only was Jerry I wrong, Winters, the Road Warriors, your new junior Warriors. tag team champions, they can now challenge any tag team champions they wish. It'll be interesting to see it, because so far I think pretty much everybody has decided to challenge the World Tag Team Champions. So, but nobody's challenged. I, I the Road Warriors in the past the past three I think everybody loves the Road Warriors. I just didn't expect them to beat Braun and Ricochet. Yeah. You know? I, I didn't. Fact is, they did, and they are the new Jeter Tag. But I, what I was saying is that nobody has challenged the YTD <laughs> Tag Team Champions. It's, it's just been the World Champions. And I wonder if eventually yeah. down the road that will happen. I think, I think, I think I'm looking forward to that match. I think the Road Warriors could take it all as well. Shit. What um, we get for making Strife tea. says, shit, what we get for making tea. How Ooh, dare you leave the show right to get yourself a beverage. I would never. <laughs> Please! <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't even finish saying it without laughing. Um, well, incidentally, though, what kind of tea did you go get, Strife? I mean, you're drinking some Orange Pico, you're drinking some Earl Grey. What do you what do you got going on? Some English breakfast tea? I don't know what the fuck you're drinking. That's why I'm asking. What kind of tea are you drinking? Luke, what kind of tea do you like? Don't tell me you don't fucking like tea. You're from the UK. I will call bullshit. And I will I, scroll I, back and find a true tree of knowledge or rotten fruit somewhere. Just as I, 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 watching I, I, the match. You do like tea. What kind of tea do you drink? Red diamond with the medical grade I, 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 level I, 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 of sugar. Yeah, we did not leave. Just was not watching the show. Archer. Uh, red diamond with a medical grade level of sugar. Okay. I don't think I've had red diamond. Like, is that a form of orange pico or like, is it really what kind of a blend? About, I have, to have like two sugars. I have three sugars. Wow. Be, uh... Yes, Lion Sin. You needy, needy person here. How dare you Brand. just drop my name like that? I think it is just black tea. We have things to discuss. We have matches to watch. We do not have time to babysit Lion Sin Escanor and pat him on the back and hold his hand through the show. How dare you? Uh, Strife says, Brand, I, th I think it's just black tea. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, what, what kind what of tea do you like, Luke? YTD Academy dark matches happening, and what do the tag team black championships count you don't like black as tea? in terms uh, of mid-card yeah. and above? I said, I appreciate my mom's to drink it with no sugar, but I'm right. How dare you, Glenola? If you have enough, I'll claim it for the next I used to show. I don't know, see what, let's pop up two we sugar in mine, and then, like, I don't know, like... We put, we put milk in, I would say, people do. Yeah. <laughs> Some people put cream in tea, and I think that's disgusting. Uh, I, I just well, can't, I can't do it. It's also Americans, Americans, like, you put milk in your tea, tea. I'm like, yeah, we do. That's what I do. <laughs> My like job, Canadian. Ca Canadians are closer to British than the Americans now. I mean, they've bred well, themselves they out. Like, it's fucking like, they act like it's fucking like, some of the world in it, isn't it? You come and you put fucking milk in your tea. Yeah. Double the beef. But cream and tea is disgusting. So I mean, if you don't put milk in tea, uh, what, uh, what are you going to put in it? Oh, it's brand. disgusting. Simply so I had to try it because a lot of people PWA. these days are starting to do it, and I thought, okay, w I'm going to give it a shot. I, I, so I bought a small tea, right? I didn't buy a medium or large or any bullshit. I, just, I bought a small tea just that way of like fight, it. and it was disgusting. I, I don't know how people drink it. Like it, it just, it doesn't mix with tea the same way co it mixes with coffee, because coffee is a completely different flavor first and foremost. And it, but, oh my God, I, it was ghastly, fucking ghastly. Archer, who is the world champion? Uh, Reese the Voice Williams is currently the world champion. At least up until tonight. Roman and Jey Uso in a match. Uh, line says Roman and Jey Uso in a match. Out. This is about to get emotional. Well, actually, it's Mr. Pink from Team Mr. Pink Gaming, Step the up. Gooner, Luke Bomber from Team Luke the Gooner 94, who is at my side on the broadcast booth. I know. We've got Alex King uh, from Team King, and I forget the entire username, but Team King is what we're calling him. Roman Reigns, and of course, Jay Uso. Roman Reigns is from the War Raiders, I'm just headed by Lions and Escanor. And, in the same match. and of course, Jay Uso from the Samoan Coalition, uh, from Team Soul Embers, who is of course the management team behind the Samoan Coalition. 
So, it is a fatal five-way extreme rules elimination matchup, and it is for the Virgil, junior we are stuck with heavyweight championship. That is our next match of the Wait. night. Let's turn and burn and get the show on the go. Showtime and go time, if you will, Luke. Let's go. <laughs> match number two of 14. Which, by the way, is all y'all's fault. Four points now. MOG face with tears uh, of down joy. to 14 MOG points now. With tears of joy. Why? What did you do? And they are Archiverse Bucks. How dare you? Redeemed World Championship Singles Match. Nice. That, I think, is the third one that's been redeemed. Of course, there won't be any redeems until after the show. There won't, there won't be any random redeems in the middle of the stream for you, but we will get to that. So, I assume you want Fat Lad Mitchell Vaughn to chase that world championship. One would assume. I saw a new Fat Lad. What was the new Mitchell Vaughn I saw, Dogface? He looked like a beast. I can't remember. It's, it's it's a different Mitchell Vaughn than I have. That that I do know. But he looks like an absolute animal. Sludge guts. Sl yeah, sludge guts. Is that is that an iteration of Mitchell Vaughn? Like, did he pull a Poindexter? Because we all know Point. We don't know who the fuck Poindexter is anymore. He, is Poindexter even a relevant name anymore? I mean, he's been so many things. He turned TWA into the largest. Dog face up. Uh, epicenter for fucking cosplay. Trying to promote a wrestling show, and he's dressing up Here like it's fucking Halloween every day. Dog. Right now, he is Lobo oh. Dexter, which oh, is actually Lobo fucking Dexter. cool, I'll be honest. It's pretty fucking cool. Lobo Dexter's cool. I, I won't knock shape. that one. But I mean, but he, he has been Penguin Dexter, Riddle Dexter, T-Dex 100. I mean, Hello. for God's sakes, he's been a what lot of different things. For? The pay, you know, the paycheck must go directly to cosplay. Like, I don't even think and he, he doesn't even Pensacola wrestle to earn a living anymore. He just does it to pay for his costumes. Um, yeah, he left the company to get in shape, but he came back about 200 pounds heavier. I thought he was pretty fucking cool. We need brand. sludge guts in TWA. Universal champion, that would be Royal awesome. Winner, held the Universal and by the way, when is Clearly coming back? No offense to Michelle Vaughn, but she is no comparison to Clearly. Like no comparison. Clearly was a champion. She was a savage. Lions in, but no, I was wondering what the tag team championship count as. Mid card or another. I can have it where me and Roman can challenge the tag team champions depending on how many points it is. We don't have points here, so you're in the wrong channel. Somebody AKO Lions in again. He's still not learning. He's not listening. We do not have points here. How dare you. Uh, cool is in here, so no silly cool. For, yeah, no silly cool, yeah. Who redeemed silly cool? And let me take this opportunity to say happy random. Oh, to random gamers, gamers welcome in. Uh, yeah, Christian Cool's not here right now, so we'll actually refund that for you. Uh, target the invasion, blame it on Billy. Well, that'll depend if the, blame it on Billy is still live when we're finished. We have a huge show. This is our big fall SPV of 2023 TWA Revolution. It's a 14 match thrill ride. So we're only in match number two. It's going to be a long night. The coalition so sit England, tight, grab a Coke and a smile. Luke, well, you want to finish that one? Gentlemen, this match is for the nah. championship, nah. which means tonight <laughs> we'll just leave him hanging. But anyways, random, welcome in. Who is here? Everybody. The community. We have Dogface, Life is Great, Lion Sinestro, and there's lots of people. Depends who you're talking about. Oh, what do you mean? Whoever the hell this is, honestly, and guys, what a thrill it must be to be superstars. <laughs> that is the Gooner Luke Especially Balmer. What this day has meant to this industry over the years. <laughs> Member of the coalition, too, by the way. Representing. Well, I actually kept my, uh, I kept my uh, and and that that jacket. Lion Sin says, I've always called them points for the entire time I've had this account. You gotta give me time. We don't, we don't give time. 
What do you think I have to do? You gotta give it the program. program. You need to work on yourself. Here comes Jay Uso, a man who has grown immeasurably under the bloodline. Hey, 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 Get Mickey James on the broadcast booth. Could you imagine? Oh, man. I, 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 thought, I, thought I mean, if you can pull that off, Luke. <laughs> I mean, I saw you talking to her earlier today on the live chat, right? I wish. Ch telling, yeah, yeah, I telling Mickey you loved her. And then, of course, she responded to your question of whether or not she was going to be on the tour. Won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal yeah, it's, it's, main it's, it's event. Now, the no. Sky is the limit no, that's what she said. I saw that. Of course, Mickey James is Luke Luke's uh, favorite female superstar of all time, and he would of course uh, mount her right on his wall if he could. <laughs> mount her right on his wall if he could. Probably more mount yeah, than put her on the I wall. Can't, I can't, I can't maybe lie, maybe against the wall. Yeah, I'm real going to that. <laughs> Thanks for the show. Uh, but anyways. Anyway, the yo, Honeybee Wrestling is in the house. What's going on, Honeybee? Welcome in. Um, uh, and by the way, who is blaming on Billy? I never did ask. Somebody check that in, would you? Will remain strong by our constant support for one another's check endeavors. out that channel, see what that's all about. I mean, regardless, I mean, it is still going to be a night and a half, so I mean, if we invade somebody, it's, they're definitely going to be, have to be streaming for a while, yeah, at least. Archer's giving me ideas. Archer's giving me ideas. What? Don't blame me for your, uh, how dare you blame me for your thought process on Mickey James? Oh. I'm going to have to change the logos on the championships. I'm going to have to order new custom belts because we have a new logo. It will look sexy on those belts, by the way. And again, we can thank Joe Link. We can thank Joe Link for the new TWA logo, which you see on the left of the screen right now. And, of course, in the middle of the ring, the TWA Revolution logo he also created for us. That is why Glenola and I were the other night talking about doing a Joe Link appreciation night. I mean, he, he has helped us uh, so much, even in the past six months, with the channel, with the Discord, uh, with our, our YouTube channel. I mean, he's he's right up there with the Turret Man for the amount of things that he's he's uh, contributed to this channel and community. So, uh, and of course, we did we did a tribute show for the Great Glenola. We did one for. Uh, Christian Cool. We did one. Why you would do one for that asshole? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, who else did we do one for? We did the Turret Man. We did one for the Turret Man. And I think it's only fitting, considering what Joe Link brings to the table, what he brings to the community, what he brings to our Discord, our YouTube channel. Yeah, I think it's only fitting. The creations and everything. If, if it wasn't for him, we would never know where the counts were. And that too. He's, when, when Joe Link is supposed to be working, he is modding our channel and paying attention to our Iron Man matches. <laughs> Go, Joe! Yeah, Joe Link's awesome. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, that's what we were talking about before was Tony Khan possibly by New Japan for us. Now, he, of course didn't confirm nor deny technically speaking and he refused to clarify his his comments made about uh, the end of an era being what wrestle dream is which is the tribute show to antonio inoki the founder of new japan pro wrestling so this is all a lot more intriguing now that we've talked it out and thrown some things on the table and looked at things from a, a different perspective now i'm starting to wonder is there more to these rumors that might meet the eye especially now that i know for some reason, New Japan Pro Wrestling only worth $120 million. So, it's probably a day's pay for the Khan family. So they could easily acquire... The thing is, is like I said, they're not doing anything with, with ROH, which they should. They're not... They've got three shows under the AEW banner that lack any sort of guidance or you know they, they, they do have some good matches and they have some great talent but they don't have good shows not yet anyways so oh I think the Gooner just got eliminated no Mr. Pink I think I don't know who the fuck got eliminated actually it was Mr. Pink Mr. Pink just got eliminated holy shit 
come from rearranging I actually, to be honest, I thought Jay Uso would have been the first one to go. It was Mr. Pink from Team Mr. Pink Gaming. Are you done? Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, it looks like it's another promotion, possibly. Uh, sorry, what is it? Up. Oh, you're talking about the blame uh, on Billy? Yeah, uh, I'm still trying to bring it up. I, it was misspelled in the chat, and that was going to be issues. Uh, currently offline. Um, oh, I got a joke time. And Honeybee powered up the partner. Didn't we already power up? Did you not already do that? I feel like you did. I'll have to check. You didn't? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay. Well, I will make sure. I will make sure we get to that. Uh, so I got to tell a joke. How rude! How dare you redeem a joke time when we're in the middle of a discussion about professional wrestling? Somebody should AKO <laughs> random gamers boo. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, let's see, what should I do for a joke? Something stupid. Because I'm being interrupted in the middle of our conversation to tell a joke. I'm not getting anything from this play that on Billy. I'm not, not getting any videos. I'm not... I had uh, when I was the, the search showed one quick clip and then it I can't even find that. So I don't know. Oh, I've gotten fucking bare breath of you. All right, here's one for you. What fights the English and smells, Luke? If you know this. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is. Not really. Overall, overall, it's not. But what fights the English and smells? The French. The French. Uh, no, it's not the French. It is not the French. Yo, Joe Link is in the house. Uh, you did Target the Invasion in Silico. Yeah, Cool's not here, so we have to refund you for that. And as far as Target the Invasion goes, we can't find the person that you want us to target. And and hopefully Canada? No, not Canada. For a minute there, I was wondering why you just blurted out Canada, but you're trying to answer the joke. No, uh, actually the answer is Brave Fart. The answer is Brave Fart. Yeah, it is. It's Brave Fart. That was good, Archer. Joke time redeem fulfilled. Hashtag blame Canada. How dare you, somebody? AKO strife, please. Can you AKO a, a VIP? I don't even know. Somebody try to AKO him. How dare you, Strife? Uh, but anyways, Glenola's still trying to locate this Blame It On Billy. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, on to the next article, though. Here's something from WrestlingNews.co by Michael Schrute. Uh, Booker T says Matt Riddle became a liability for WWE. So the latest Hall of Fame podcast is, is up now on all streaming... Uh, and podcast platforms, Booker gave his thoughts on some current and past wrestling topics. Uh, Booker T, looking back at his run in TNA, he said, and this is a quote, I really didn't realize how much fun that I did have in TNA. It was crazy. I really thought I was going to be in TNA a whole lot longer than I was. I thought my run in TNA was going to last about maybe five years. I, I really did. When things didn't work out, when I... When I kind of felt like things weren't working out let's just say that i said well maybe i should just go ahead and get out while i can my contract was coming up and honestly they weren't offering a whole lot of money at, at least the money that i was thinking about anyways that made him laugh apparently um so i was like I'll, I'll take a hiatus and go home and then the rumble came up i i really thought that i was going to be in tna for quite some time i don't know that's just the way things work in the business. At the end of the day, I was listening to Ric Flair talking about, you know, a lot of the guys that got released today, and the statement that he made was spot on 100%. At the end of the day, it's a business. Sometimes things work out. Sometimes things don't work out. Um, Booker T's thought, is it down to Roman Reigns and Jey Uso? Are you fucking kidding me right now? What did I miss? Wow. Good God. No fucking way. 
Now remember, this is a Fatal Five Extreme yeah. Rules this elimination the, uh, match for the Junior the World the Championship. It is now down to Roman Reigns from Welcome Team Lions and Escadors, Your Raiders, and Jey Uso from the Samoan Coalition, of course, headed by Team Soul Embers. Whoa. Who the fuck would have had Roman for Sorry, you did what? Jessica Scott, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to episode number 519. TWA Revolution is our fall SPV of 2023. It's going to be a thrill ride. I hope you enjoy the show and uh, the community. You just missed our second match. And it was a Fatal Five Extreme Rules Elimination matchup. And by the way, incidentally... Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and new Junior World Champion from representing the War Raiders from Team Lions and Escador, it is Roman Reigns, your Tribal Chief, is your new Junior World Champion. Congratulations. I got fucking robbed out that match. You got, you got robbed? <laughs> Uh, congratulations to Team Lions and Escanor. And of course, Roman Reigns, member of the War Raiders, picking up some junior gold. All right. Um, and here we go. Match number three on the evening. A tornado tag team elimination matchup in his phenomenal soul. Coach B. Henry from Team 3 at TVB, also known as Coach B. And of course, from team Joe Link. Yo, Joe! It is the phenom Joe Lincoln Which game and do you like Coach B. Henry play? riding high together. Mm. They are going to challenge as phenomenal soul the Wolfpack Horseman from team Froggy Mothlegs and team Knight the Undying. It is the Omega, Marshall Omega, and of course, Lobo Dexter. Your reigning defending YTD Academy Tag Team Champions putting their gold on the line against Phenomenal Soul. That's the next match of the night. So without further ado, showtime and go time. Let's turn and burn. All right. Um, but yeah, Jessica, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy yourself. Redeem Banna host for a met. Luke, you got banned, dude. Glenola is up to his villainy. So you're banned for a match. I did, I did that to him as well, so... <laughs> oh, you did it to him. That's why he's not talking. Okay. I wondered. I did one, wonder. One match, yeah. One match, you're banned for a match, and, and you if you blissed him, that means he's out for, I think, 10 minutes? Is it 10 minutes of bliss, right? That's what it's called still? It's not just called bliss. Or is it? I forget. I haven't used it. Is it 15 minutes? It's a big time opportunity, Byron. Are you sure? We'll be on the line here. I'm gonna look. Isn't it called 10 minutes of bliss? Yeah, it's 10 minutes of bliss. You're you're outed from the entire broadcast for 10 minutes. That means you can't even be in the chat room. Well, you can be in the chat. You can lurk. You can't talk. You're Gonski. You and Luke have both been fucked over by each other. You fucked up each other's neck. Way to go. You guys both need to work on yourselves. You see what you did here? You left me all by myself. I'm all by my lonesome. Like family to me. Uh, but anyways, Thanksgiving, fellas. make me sad, lonely, hurt my feeler, but whatever, I'll continue on. I can't believe it came down between Roman Reigns and Jay. I know, right? That was crazy. I have followed you on Twitter. Kindly follow me back this week. I'm giving 50% discount. So can talk in chat either. Uh, you must be talking about uh, Archer, for creating myself. artwork. But I mean, hey, at least you come in and decided to have a conversation with the chat and followed and just Here didn't try go, to advertise yourself. I appreciate that. I, I can appreciate that. I can get down with that. And no, do not ban Jessica right Scott. There. Just I mean, she she came in and and said hello. Followed. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. So, anyways. You know what, guys? Aside from my family, so, anyways, Joe Link, good timing. Phenomenal soul about to ride high with. against the Wolfpack Horseman. So and does anybody want a betting line open? Like family to me. Uh, Again, don't forget it's an SPV, fellas. so you can redeem, yeah, open those betting lines is. at any given time, and I do have time to do so. It is an yes. elimination matchup. Joe Link says yes. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the betting lines. Give me a sec. And then I'll, of course, get back to that article. 
Okay. Uh, Booker T did have more to say. So Jessica Scott zero eight. Together we will. All right. So who walks out tag team champions? Will remain strong by our constant support for one and author's endeavors. With that said, with is it going to be uh, phenomenal soul? Wow, timing. Or is it going to be the reigning, uh, defending, undisputed YTD Academy Tag Team Champions? Betting. The Wolfpack Horsemen. Lines. I'll give you guys 10 minutes to make your bets. The new jackpot number for a chance to win a And there you go. Betting lines are choices. open. Put your Archivers box where your mouth is. Who's walking out the Tag Team Champions? Is it going to be Phenomenal Soul or the Wolfpack Horseman? All right, I'll catch up with the chat real quick. Hello, Frog. Uh, Stripes opening more betting lines. Somebody keep track of how many betting lines I have to open. Uh, don't forget, you don't have to do the final three matches, Strife, if you're going to open them all. Yost drives. They o they open automatically in the championship rounds, right, which anybody the newer to the Archivers TV, the championship rounds are normally the final like three matches of like any given card. The demise, now there's some cards seven. we have more than three championship matches, but they're still considered the championship rounds. So the last three matches are usually dedicated to title matches, historically speaking. Eight. We've of course defied those odds. Like I said, we've had multiple times where we've had more than one championship on the line. More than three even for that matter. Uh, so you're at eight now? Okay. So you, you would not have to open uh, 12, 13, or 14 for the, follow. for the record. Let me take this Yo, Froggy Mothlegs! I didn't even see you sneak in, my friend. I am... I was paying attention to Strife opening betting lines and completely missed the fact that you walked in. I apologize. Give me a little boost. It's Saxton's commentary. I apologize. Uh, Luke the Gooner and Glenola are both here, but they decided to fuck each other over. So Luke gave Glenola 10 minutes of bliss, and then Glenn fired back and said, fuck you, you want to give me 10 minutes of bliss? I'm going to ban you for the entire match. So Luke, now gone as well. So I'm riding solo, all by myself. I'm being a big boy. I got my big boy pants on. LOL. Um, Froggy says, what a team. Yeah, no kidding. Lobo Dexter and Marshall Omega are two badasses, and they definitely make a well-oiled machine. They work as a unit very, the very well. This is a tornado tag team match. Tornado Tag Team Elimination Match. What is wrong with our ring announcer? He needs to work on himself. Somebody fire him. I mean, not even know what he's doing. All right. Uh, Frog says, what's up, Arch? Well, episode number 519 is up live. 14 matches of pure fire. Championship matches all night long. We are going to party. We are going to party. Uh, Life says, I got a bone to pick with Mr. Dexter. Uh-oh. About ready to begin this tag team championship uh -oh. match. Froggy, you're in trouble. All right, so let's finish what uh, Booker T was talking about. So he's, uh, Booker T's thoughts on Matt Riddle being released from WWE. And again, it's a quote. He says, we were just talking about Riddle, and, and what, what did I say that day? I said, that's only going to be tolerated so much. I think I said something like that, you know? You can get away with uh, that kind of stuff only for so long. It catches up with you because then you become a liability. You don't want people in the news for negative reasons. That's the last thing you want. The last thing you need is having someone in the news for negative purposes. Um... On Christian winning the TNT Championship. He said, I always said Christian was the most underrated, perhaps, superstar in the history of the business. I've always said that. He has always been extraordinarily good. Uh, the guy that you can count on to pretty much make the right decision every time in the middle of that squared circle. I remember being in matches with Christian myself. 
uh, where there was a fatal four-way or something like that, I would go out and find a quiet spot and get some coffee and a sandwich, and I would just chill. And I would tell Christian, bro, just let me know what I'm doing tonight. And he would let me know exactly when I was going to do the sidekick, the scissor kick, and the spin rooney and it would be the perfect timing. And I would ask no questions. Sometimes you got to know how to be just quiet and let someone else do the work for you, and you take the credit. That's the guy that we're talking about as far as Christian Cage, and that's my Christian Cage testimonial. You know, I 100% I agree with that. I think Christian Cage is probably the most underrated star in history. Uh, I'm not really sure why. He's always been very good. He always told a great story on the mic, in the ring. He's got great technical ability. He's tough. Um... He's got charisma, he gets over with the fans. I mean, there, there was never a reason not to push him properly, you know? But, uh, Granola Band sure. Eagles Super Bowl champ 24. Nice, what happened there? It's the Stalker! Oh, Woozy Stalker? Wow, <laughs> I, it's I been a hot you. minute. Yeah, and, uh, second oh, message he posted... Says, truly said to enough, Elmo was passed on after getting high and eating 73 chicken nuggets. <laughs> and actually, actually, I know we already banned the asshole, but uh, just to touch base on the whole Woozy thing. So Woozy has a stalker. His, his stalker is a very lonely man and uh, doesn't have much of a, a an existence of his own. He's trying to ride the coattails of one Woozy TV. I mean, he, he was trying to get Woozy to go on dates and many other things. Very strange happenings anytime that he was around. But Woozy, the person that he likes to stalk and make fun of, is actually on a path of, of uh, a great healthy lifestyle right now. He's, at the time, we're going back a couple of weeks, he was down 78 pounds, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, he's able to walk and stand and do things that before he was having a tough time doing due to the fact that he, um, he, he was a little large. And he decided, and of course he ended up ha having a change of, of lifestyle anyways because he ended up moving uh, to Chicago to be with his father who was encouraging and helping him to get healthier. And they they just never look back. They're just on a constant mission to make sure that uh, Woozy gets in better shape, has a healthier life and can live a longer life. But so a lot of great positive things going on in the life of One Woozy TV. So we're not going to... We're not going to let some uh, asshole pretend that uh, we're talking about the same person that, you know, he tried to stalk and, and get to go to the prom with him uh, last year at this time. Because in, in less than a year, has it been a year yet? I don't know. I don't think. I don't even think. I, I, I don't think it's been a year yet. in like January that he moved and everything, but it might have been November. I think he, uh, I think it was closer. Like I think it was before Christmas. I could be wrong about that. Okay. <laughs> but either way, um, and he's taking this to the outside now. Yeah. Woozy Stalker has returned. It's been a hot minute, at least. If 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 uh, not for anything else, he's no, definitely no, consistent. No, no, no. Well, it popped Definitely up consistent. a message. He said hi, and it popped up as a possible um, bandy date. Ooh, yeah. So I went to start to look, and the second message I saw it mentioned Elmo, and it's like, oh, I know who that is. Back into the ring. Um, by the way, what do you think about Booker T's comment about Christian being possibly one of the most underrated superstars in wrestling history? I don't agree. No. I no, I agree. Oh, you do agree? Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll, honestly, in the lot of ones, you know, I loved Ted and Christian. I thought they were <laughs> amazing, the uh, entertaining tag team. But Christian going to TNA was one of the best things that could happen to him. It totally got him away from any association with tag team. It let him develop a good... Um, solo character and prove that he can hang with them. Yeah, and, and that's the thing with Christian, is he could hang with anybody, right? Because he was, again, yeah. he was tough as nails. He wasn't quite as large, uh, chiseled from granite like some of the bigger guys he first came in with and lingered with thereafter. But he could hang with anybody. He was tough as nails. He was a safe worker. He was an intelligent worker. He had a great mind for the business. 
Good technical skills, great on the microphone, charismatic. Captain Charisma, hence Captain Charisma. Yeah, he, the fans love he, he needed that opportunity to show it, and unfortunately, even after the breakup of Edgy, of Edgy Christian, WWE never really gave him that push to show what he was capable of. Exactly. Where and, we're going to TNA, and he developed them, a fan way. base of his own. Yeah. Yep. And, and it was it was only fitting that he was the final TNA champion too, because of course it's Impact now. They, but even when he was in AEW, they brought over the TNA Heavyweight Championship, and they were still doing things with Impact. But, um, although I didn't think that belonged, I don't necessarily like having uh, somebody else's World Championship showed up and. Unless it's a, a big event or something. But even then, it's kind of weird to have somebody else's championship. Uh, and, of course, they, they dominated Impact, by the way, which was also silly. Mm -hmm. But that said, it did give... It opened the door for Christian Cage to be the final TNA heavyweight champion. So there's that. And then he retired the championship, which it didn't even need to exist. It's not TNA anymore. It's just simply Impact Wrestling, right? So it, it did, did not really make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I understood they had a bit of a story, and I understood how that story started, etc. But I just wasn't a fan of that whole thing. Was not at all. Uh, Strife, you don't see anybody because Bumoa banned them already. He dropped the band Hammer. Dropped it quick yeah. and dropped it hard. We, we don't play around with the, that particular... <laughs> yeah, we don't like him. We used to entertain him, entertain him when he first started coming around, and we'd play around with him a little bit, but then, he, you know, it just gets old after a while. I mean, we are professional trolls here. We do not need some amateur coming in and, and trying to, you know, disrupt our evil. Trying to get our attention. Yep. attention we don't even try to troll him anymore. Uh, whoa! That is it. That is all. Look at that. Wow. I did not think... I I must have missed... I did not see Joe Lincoln even get eliminated. So, wow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, yeah. He got uh, pinned. He got pinned? Okay. I, I totally missed that. So, I, I did not... I thought Coach B. Henry was simply being eliminated from the match. But, ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match from Team Up Froggy Moth Legs... And, of course, team at Night the Undying, representing the Wolfpack Horsemen, it is Lobo Dexter and the Omega Marshall Omega. They are your reigning, defending, undisputed, and still YTD Academy Tag Team Champions, the Wolfpack Horsemen. Congratulations, Froggy. Night the Undying, Team Lonola, of course, the, the head of the Wolfpack Horsemen. Big victory, big title defense for Lobo Dexter and Marshall Omega. Holy shit. Wow. Great, great start I mean, for the Wolfpack tonight. It is a great start for the Wolfpack tonight. And, of course, there's a big matchup later tonight. We'll get to that conversation later because I'm sure it'll take a while. But you all know what we're talking about. It is the Wolfman Alan Severn challenging the one Elijah Archer for the Legends Championship. And, of course, I, I'm not going to get any further into that because we will be discussing that. Uh, down the road, but awesome start for the Wolfpack here so far tonight. You're not wrong. Absolutely not. But I mean, that's not really a surprise. That is not really a surprise. Um, Froggy says, my bad, Coach B, not Jay. Didn't get a close enough look. All right, so let me issue the payout for that match. Give me a second while I do that. I'm going to All right, so it looks like there's a little over 4,000 Archiverse Bucks on the line. The reigning defending champions retained. And 4,510 Archiverse Bucks in total being distributed right now. There we go. All right. And I'll get the betting line ready for the next match because Strife already opened, I think, pretty much all of them. If not all of them. I believe he has got I them all. Yeah, I, I believe he has. All right, here we go. Next match of the night. It is a fight pit between the reigning and defending 
Women's YTD Academy Pure Wrestling Champion Briar Rose from Team Raka. Oh. Taking on we Team Infinite Oni's Shayna Baszler, yeah, representing the, the Bullies, her partner on crime is, of course, none other than Ronda Rousey and Sonya SPR Deville, an amazing trio. This is about to Tonight, be hard it is Shayna Baszler in a one-on-one, -on -one, though, going against the I new the phenom match. in the women's division, Briar Rose. Pure Wrestling Keep Championship is on the line, of course. The there as well. It's TWA Revolution. URL. Everybody's fucking title's on the match. line. But anyways, let's go. Pure Wrestling Champions of Online. Shayna Baszler versus Briar Rose. Time to turn and burn. All right. Let me open the betting line. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. All right, so who wants it? Pure Wrestling Champion. Women's Is it going to be Shayna Baszler or Briar Rose? She's a feared Ten minutes to make your bets. And there you go, guys. Betting line is open. Betting line is open. But, yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, Glenola and I are giving our opinions on the matter. What do you guys think about Christian Cage uh, potentially being the most underrated superstar in pro wrestling history, like Booker T says? I, I mean, I tend to agree with him and Glenola. I agree. I think it is absolutely insane that that guy didn't have a, a better uh, run as in WWE as far as being a world champion is concerned. Joling says uh, Christian Cage is very underrated. So the numbers are 202 and 016. So 582 unlucky, 751 unlucky. I got to go back and see some of the other. I believe we have had nobody close to that number, though. Or those numbers, for that matter. I'm just scrolling back. I know I saw somebody else playing. His father skid stuff at the moment is Maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to go back really far to find out. So, so far. Play. The jackpots are still good. Four zero one on lucky. Ooh, zero four seven. That puts you in the running for the channel redemption reward, which is zero one six. Oh wait a minute. Sorry, zero one six is the YTD championship up. Two zero two is the channel redemption reward. Good. I was getting low on championships. You were getting low on championships. Eight zero one on lucky. Eight three one on lucky. I think Chris oh, no. I don't know. Bye -bye. Yo, Play. Sir Jack Lucas is in the house. What's going on, Jack? Um, oh, yeah, by the way, my guy, the ranting I wanted to be now, blame it on Ethan. How about we just blame it on the rain? Do you want to give us a rendition? Not really. <laughs> Play. I don't know the lyrics of that song. I'm not gonna. Well, I could actually do with Billy Billy Vanilla. Hold on a second. You could, yes. Seven four one unlucky. But I was me. I was unlucky. Because all I have to do is play the song. Two seven seven also unlucky. I was just off on that one. Uh, Jack says, I have literally been here. Well, how dare you not speak to By the way, is, uh, I think Luke, is Luke back yet? He should be back. The match is over. He can return. I don't know what he's doing. I wouldn't have banned him if he hadn't uh, with the I'm, back, I'm back in the booth. Randoms and Games Boo with a fucking 10 minutes of bliss. How dare you, somebody AKO Random Gamers Boo, please. That is ghastly. But guys, I'm out for 10 minutes. So you guys are going to have to find a dirt sheet, a joke, a song. Sing Blame It on the Rain by Millie Vanilli. I don't care. But I just got smoked out of the match by Random Gamers Boo. So AKO that ass. Thank you. 
I'll be back. Good luck, random games. Yes, there are some amazing and fun channel rewards to choose from. It's skipping the rest. Echo random games. Echo random games. Echo random games. Sorry, the greatest guess we cannot hear you. LOL. <laughs> 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 that would be the first one I got anyway, so. Someone better read out a text, because I'm bored. <laughs> anyway. Yes, yeah, sir, Jack Mike is very get. low. What can we get? <laughs> no box. Let's have a look. What's well, on? Nothing. Yo, I'll say it's only 10 minutes, so I'm not going to do a list. And Basler has scouted. <laughs> I want to hear Fokker Tisa's and Matt Riddle will be clear online, I believe he's going to be used. Baszler's attack right there. Reversal after reversal. Oh, 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 oh. Stop hitting yourself. He did, uh, you know, public, or, you know, just from publicity, he became a liability. Is that what he said? Well, I don't know if that's what he said, but... Well, let's have a look at it. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. You can know what you want to do, but you have to be able to win the right way. Matt Riddle will be clear online, so he's going to be used. The latest Hall of Fame podcast is just not a good thing. It's cool for that. Right, he said, I really did it. 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 I really did realize how much fun that I had in TNA. Look at that. I don't know what we're going through that. Talk about his time in TNA, so it's a lot of fun. It's still... Right, so, so we were just talking about Riddle, and what did I say that day? I said that I'm only going to be tolerated so much. I think I said something like that. You know you can get away with that kind of stuff only for so long. It catches up with you because you have a liability and you want people in the news negative reasons back from our team. Well, are you actually right, Vinny? Mm -hmm. What you said, right. I think. In the world of romance, this is what we call right. saying, the You need to have someone in the news for negative purposes. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, fifth grade the health class, and teacher asked Johnny, Johnny, what is sex? Johnny stood up and said, ma'am, sex is a temptation caused by my sensation where a boy takes his location into a girl's destination to increase the population of the next generation. She kind of turned out of this painted. I love this video. I love this video. I can use it in fire face. I can use it in fire face. Ah, oh, fuck you, man. I can't remember anything. The damage that a steel cage match does, we are seeing it right now. Boom! Ouch! Ooh, jarring back elbow. How well else have we got? How well else have we got? I'm not kidding, actually. I agree with what Booker T said about that riddle. Can't lie to you. Reading down right hands. Basler's been caught by another one. Another one. Yeah. Check out the latest phrase in TWA match. Like what's about to come her way. Purchase your coffee cup, tea or ball cap right now. You are well. Up they go! Alright, that's it. I think it's time to be an NXT with a champion against Tiffany again. Uh, um, NXT with a basic. Who do you think Jade Cargill's first opponent will be? 1-0. They're probably going to have Tiffany again. 2-0. I think Tiffany again to be honest. Briar wins. Holy shit. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is all the winner of the fight pit. And Where's still, your reigning uh, defending undisputed YTD Academy pure wrestling champion from Team Raka, Briar Rose, walks out the big winner. And still your champion. Joel Link says flawless victory. All right. Uh, Glenola, you have a tree of knowledge or rotten fruit. Yeah. You do. I, I just happened to notice it when I was sitting in the chat room there. You happened to notice it I, you redeemed it. I just happened to notice it. 
Uh, Joe Mix says, what do you think Jade Cargill's first opponent will be? That's a tough one. I don't know. It depends what show she lands on. I don't know if they're going to put her in... Well, I don't know if they're going to start her in NXT or if they're going to push her right to Raw or SmackDown. If it were me, I'd put her right to Raw or SmackDown. looking like Raw. You wouldn't start with NXT? No, because, I mean, she's better than everybody on NXT, and she's just going to become they champion, so why not let her go against roster. some of the greatest that are already on Raw and SmackDown? You know what I mean? Nobody's going to challenge her in NXT right now. What, Tiffany Stratton? Becky Lynch is over there, but that's only for that that storyline, is it not? I don't think she's there on a permanent basis or anything. She's jumped down to NXT now. She is? But yeah, I'm assuming there's a purpose to that. I think she's maybe given a rub to she's somebody. She's defended again. She's defended against Tiffany Stratton at NXT No Mercy. She is, yeah. Yeah. Is are you watching? Are you watching that? that the Archer versus. No, I don't Yo, Kenny, it, what's going on, Kenny? Welcome in. Appreciate you stopping by. Welcome to episode number 519, so TWA 18, Revolution. What's going on, Kenny? Communities will remain strong by our constant support. All right, may as well move on to our next match while we continue our discussions. And here we go, next match of the night. It is for the Men's YTD Academy Pure Wrestling Championship. From Team Alliance and Escanor, it is Escanor from the War Raiders taking on the reigning defending champion, Guther. And that is our next match of the night. I'll, of course, issue the payout for the last match. Just give me a moment while I do that, and then I'll get the betting line ready for this one. Guther's been champion quite a lot in the last few months. It's actually been crazy. The amount of uh, TWA and YTD stars that have actually won championships... And taking out streamer teams in the My process, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so 2,802 Archiverse Bucks being distributed to whoever bet for Briar Rose. All right, let's see here. All right, so who walks uh, out pure champion? This just match of the night written all over it. Well. Is it going to be Escanor or will Gunther retain or and continue Gunther. his reign? I... It's a false count anywhere matchup too, by the way. So anything goes, anything can happen. Expect the unexpected. I know who I want to win, but. Then I'm going to say Escanor is going to win. Rose against. I'd like to see Gunther do it. You'd like to see Gunther do it? Yeah. I like Gunther a lot, actually. I and think I think Escanor it's cool that he's won uh, so many championships award. within TWA, so NYTD for that matter. But All right, so Luke, what do you think? Well, she is on a roll at I the moment, Gunther. Frog Hammoth Legs. Frog Hammoth Legs will bet against her on purpose. You think Gunther so can win it? Won. All right. Yeah, well, I, think it, I think it's really cool. Well, so that's the thing. Froggy, Joe Link, what do you guys think? Not at Steve. Escador says, can Escador become a two-time champion, or Nine will Gunther me. retain and continue his Randy reign? Gains, but hurts from laughing. That's a good question. That is the question of the hour. Well, of the next few minutes anyways, because it is the betting line. Uh, Froggy says, uh, hurts from laughing. How dare you? All right. Nine ads. Nice. Make sure you watch each and every one of those. I would appreciate that, even though they don't pay as well as they said they were going to. Ads have not done... Ads have not generated anything for me other than people complaining they have ads. I've, I've gotten a little bit of some ads. But... Well, not now, because you are now gift-subbed. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just catching up with chat. All right, so betting lines are open. Here we go. Time to turn and burn. It is showtime and go time for the next match of the night for the YTD Academy Pure Wrestling Championship. Escanor versus Gunther. Let's go. All right. Now, this is a short story again. You know, I... I do kind of like those on occasion, but about, yeah, I'd say about two and a half years ago or so. Oh, this is a Hell in a Cell match. I thought it was a Falls Count Anywhere match. I apologize. 
time frame, I had the opportunity to speak with Alan Dean Foster. Alan Dean Foster, eh? For those of you that are familiar with science fiction, uh, the man wrote the Spellsinger series. Uh, he wrote the novelization of, I want to say it was Star Wars Episode One and Return of the Jedi as well. Oh, really? Um, yeah, the, he's... I actually didn't know worked that. Worked with Star Trek. Uh, uh, actually... Now, were you at, like, a function? The, no. Oh, okay. It was just a happening? Yeah, well, it was a... It was a, um... It, he was doing a interview, and the audience got to ask questions. Ads are almost done, yes. <laughs> Here we go, gentlemen. Strike says Glenola Frogs and us figured it, figured it up. It is something like point zero 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 two five cents per ad when you first start out. Well, the ads have not generated too much for the Archiverse TV. I'll tell you that. But anyways, continue with your story. But it was just one of those where, you know, the interview with the audience got to ask questions. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Um, now, was, it, was this, like, near where you live, or did you have to go somewhere because you were attending a... Well, I did it from my living room. It was online. Oh, gotcha, okay. So you joined in um, via, like, Zoom or something? Yeah. It was on YouTube. Oh, it was on YouTube. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, here comes the. Austrian I mean, from past stories, we know Glenola's met a lot of people. A man with one purpose has lots of connections. The mat. Sacred. I'm gonna say true. Froggy okay. says it's solid. What do you guys think? Do you think Glenola's telling us the truth? Complete bullshit fabricated story or a combination of the two? Strife says true. Luke says bullshit. Joe Link says true. I didn't see I what is it? I didn't see what it was. You didn't see what it was. Just because it's Glenn. Well, he, he said that he, he had met. Sorry, who did you meet? It's Alan Dean Foster. Alan Dean Foster, that's what it is. And it was, I did make one error. He uh, he wrote um, the novelization for um, The Force Awakens and the original Star Wars. Like I mean, New Hope? You can meet, you can meet celebrities. So I mean, you know, yeah, exactly. Them. But I actually got to, I got to ask him a question. What was that? Actually, I asked him about uh, how he would feel about the Spellsinger series being made into a series or a movie. Introducing the challenger. I don't remember now the answer. But I was going to say, did he respond? Yeah, he gave an He answered the question. You just don't remember what he answered. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, no. Uh, most of us say true. Luke called the complete bullshit on that one. But then now he's now he's kind of rescinding a bit and saying, "Well, you can meet people." So he's in between, I think. He's on the fence. Anybody else? Strafe says we got to see Lou Ferrigno at Comic Con from about three feet away, and over the entire crowd, it was not hard to see him. He's uh, he's still in really, no, yeah, well, he's in real good shape still for his age too. It's actually pretty crazy. But yeah, so mostly everybody said. Uh, True, except for Luke is, is on the fence. Yep, it was true. Very um, cool. I'm trying to remember what channel it was. I, 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 just, I just can't. It's been a couple of years ago, but as part of a nerd community I was involved with, and yeah, he actually, it was actually kind of interesting. He, he talked to everybody for like two hours. Two hours? Nice. Uh, but the, one of the coolest things that we, I didn't even know at that time until he was doing it is one of the things he wrote became Star, Wars, Star Trek, the motion picture. Oh, cool. He's the one who wrote the story that became the movie. I think it's funny when they sell the trilogy for 
for Star Trek, they always exclude the motion picture and go right to Rathacon through... Uh, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I actually didn't think the motion picture was that bad. I, mean, but, I didn't either. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the motion, motion picture. picture. I mean, the, the, a little bit too much focus on the ship, perhaps, during That's parts of the show. Myself, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Froggy says that's cool as hell, G. Don't you forget to follow the action in Y2D. Uh, it, it, it was. It was very interesting, you know. He's got well, the Archiverse five seconds. And for those of you that are newer to the Archiverse TV community, don't forget to follow the action in Y2D Live, Clash of the Titans on YouTube, live every week. And of course, we also have Y2D Dark, where we have dark matches uploaded to our content. A lot of, a lot of interesting matches. A lot of great stories. YTD's been absolute fire since its incarnation, and it only got better and better. Um, we're just about to, oh, shortly, I believe, Lion episode 31 we're going to be at, aren't we? Or is it 32? Oh, I I Might be episode 32, I forget now. I'd have to look. I don't remember. I can't remember either. I always lose track of that. I, I know what TWA number it is, but I, you know, or will be. Speaking of which... Uh, we're probably going to be doing Wrestle Wars Genesis a night early this week, only due to the way my schedule works out. Uh, so Wrestle Wars Genesis will be Friday evening around 9:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll of course be our Fallout show from everything that transpires tonight, and then we'll figure out YTD Live. Uh, hopefully between I don't know when we're doing YTD Live. If it's going to be, it might actually be Thursday night. The things work out. Other than that, it might be Sunday night. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what my uh, place of employment wants to do with my schedule, I guess. It's the best thing to do there. It keeps changing because people are dropping like flies. I come into work today, Glenola, and uh, not only did the person that worked overnight call in, I show up at 8 o'clock this morning, and there was no 5, a five o'clocker there to start packaging and, and slicing and all the stuff that's required of a bakery. Uh, also, the 7 o'clock person did not show up. Uh, so there was me at 8, and then there was somebody at 8.30, and then there was nobody else scheduled till 5 p.m. And there was two of them, and one of those people ended up calling in. So the next person in had to work by themselves for the rest of the night and try to try to get everything in order. And it, I tell you, it was, it, it was a daunting and interesting day in the bakery today. Did you even have fresh anything today? <laughs> we, well, we did, that but kind of time? we did. But by the time we got it in, it had been sitting around for a while, so it's not as fresh as normal. If you, because a lot of people like to get there early, and get the fresh. Not that it does, it's not fresh by the time they get it home anyway. But they just want to know that it's fresh, right? But yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if you even had time to bake anything. <laughs> well, the baking gets done overnight, but. There was there were, there. Well, there was there was no. the baker, and that was it. There was nobody to to start packaging. There was there was nobody to start working the floor as far as putting our other goods there, like muffins and butter tart, all that stuff. It it was a messed up day. Yeah, uh, yours truly got stuck doing all the packaging and slicing, and I did not enjoy myself. Did not, but. Uh, Lionson says, tap out, Gunther. Well, I mean, he is not just going to roll over and play dead, sir. Put in a position now. It is Gunther, the ring general. That Escanor just dropped over the top rope like a sack of potatoes, by the way, if anybody's paying attention. Good God. Um, okay, so Glenola's tree of knowledge of Rotten Fruit has been fulfilled officially. Um, let's see what else is going on in the dirty sheeties, shall we? All right, let's see here. So here's something from Wrestling News. This is about Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Um, it is from WrestlingNews.co. It was written by Michael Schwedes. Ricky Steamboat says he was supposed to beat up Ricky Starks on AEW Collision, but he insisted on putting Starks over as Ricky the Dragon would do, of course. Anybody that knows Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, he is a class act and one of the best to ever, ever lace them up. Never gets brought up enough in the best of all time when it comes to wrestlers. I think that's mostly because he was never world champion in WWF or WWE, which is sad because he was champion elsewhere. And that aside, one of the best technical wrestlers and performers ever. 
Uh, but anyways, during his interview with Sports Kita, Russell Binge, WWE Hall of Famer, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat talked about his angle with Ricky Starks, and he confirmed that there were other plans for his angle, but Steamboat wanted to put Starks over. Uh, they suggest, oh my god, Gunther just put Eskimo right through the roof of the friggin' cell. Oh, he kicked out. Two count only. Eskador really like kicked out after to being to dropped to through the cell. Wow, still in it to win it he is. So they suggested an outcome that I didn't like, Steamboat said. I said, look, you're doing a slow turn with this kid. Ricky Starks and trying to turn him heel. And what you're suggesting is there's not going to be any heat on him. So I, I made the suggestion of what everybody saw, and I said, I'd like to put some heat on this kid. And so everything carried out to the T. Uh, Steamboat went on to say they had a result where everything would go down as it was and then as he would spin me around and try to take a shot I would block it and give him some big chops and take a bump through the ropes uh, out onto the floor then scurry up the ramp it would be like a happy happy moment I'm thinking and I'm picturing this and I said well the, the, where's the heat there Where's the heat for this kid? Number one, I caught him with his foot on the ropes, so that was a happy moment. The referee got knocked down, so I did my job. I was the second, so I, I got in the ring, and he got counted one, two, three, so there's another happy moment. Then to spin me around, I, I blocked the punch, cheap shot, and then hit him with a big chop, and then a uh, big double chop, and he takes that bump on the floor. And then tail between his legs and scurrying up the ramp to the back. That There's absolutely no heat, and plus the fact you know, I'm 70, and they're going to say, God, Stark, a 70-year-old man, you know, a, an old-timer just whipped you up on. Uh, I said, we got to turn this around to where, you know, he's got to catch me off guard and sucker punch me and get me down and do something to where it's almost to the point of disgusting and shameful. Uh, on Ricky Steamboat, recommending John Laurinaitis take a look at CM Punk when Punk was still in Ring of Honor to, in 2004. He said, they brought me in as a special guest referee for the match, the main event match, and they were going to do an hour Broadway. Uh, and so I was the third guy in the ring. I was I was there, and I listened to CM Punk lead the whole match for the whole hour. That told me right there, this kid's got it. You know, the, the wow. Got to pause the list. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Hell in a Cell match and still reigning and defending undisputed. YTD Academy Pure Wrestling Champion, the Ring of General Gunther is still your champion. Wow, I, I, I got to tell you, I agree with Glenola there. I actually thought that to, I would have liked to see, well, he did. I wanted to see Gunther actually win this match. No offense to Lions and Escanor. But I actually thought Escanor was going to pull this off. I did. I thought he was going to become a two time champ. But Gunther had a different agenda, and he played it out well. Well, the Wolfpack is very happy with that outcome. The Wolfpack is very happy with that outcome. All right, so I'll issue the pay for that match before I get back to the, the article. Um, so the winner was the ring at General Gunther. Only 1,510 Archiverse bucks on the line there, but they're being distributed right now. All right, here we go. Next match of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, is a TLC matchup. And it is for the YTD Academy Women's Grand Prix Wrestling Championship. It is the greatest women's legends champion of all time from Team Honeybee Wrestling, B. Jackson, representing Winter Swarm, challenging... Alice Blade from Team Sir Jack the Greatest. Championships on the line. Alice Blade, B. Jackson. Who you guys got? I'm going to open the betting line right now, but that's the next match of the night. Who do you guys got winning? Lions what do you think, Luke? Canor, two, Who walks three, out Grand Prix champion? Uh, he has to take the strongest you think B. Jackson? The yeah. reigning defending Legends champion. This is a champion versus champion matchup. Of course, only the one championship is on the line. The titles on the line. Uh, no, just the Grand Prix Wrestling Championship. So, so Luke says B. Jackson, Glenola, what do you think? Yeah, I think B. Jackson. I'm going to go with Alice Blade. You're going with Alice Blade? Well, she is the greatest legend in the women's division of all time. She's 
been continuously a formidable champion and opponent for everybody on the roster. Winter Swarm, together, B. Jackson and January held every single B. women's Jackson, championship in both TWA and YTD. Alice Blade has already defended her Alice title. Blade She's a formidable winning. champion. She's proven to be a great Grand Prix champion. I just don't know if she has it in her to defeat the great B. Jackson. I don't know. I'm up in the air on this one. Alice. I'd like to see them both she win. Just Can we have a draw? She likes Alice. That would suck. Never mind. Forget I said that. Um, yeah, forget, forget you said that one. Yeah, I forget I said that one. We do not want a fucking draw. That's not yeah, happening. Besides, besides, it's a TLC oh, matchup. How the hell would you have a draw anyways? So can Alice. Uh, but what do you guys think? The betting lines are now open. Put your Archivers bucks where your mouth is. Who's going to win? B. Jackson from Team Honeybee Wrestling or Alice Blade representing the Blade Runners from Team Sir Jack the Greatest? <laughs> oh, wait, we can't do that. He actually joined the broadcast for a little bit. Uh, actually, that was pre-show, though, to be fair. But anyways, Glenola says Alice Blade... Luke the Gooner says B. Jackson. I'm up in the air on this one. I'd like to see them both win. But if I had to choose, if my arm was twisted, I'm going to go with B. Jackson, the greatest women's legends champion of all time. The new jackpot number that is my choice. To win a channel but here we go. Choices, two, zero, it is showtime and go time for the YTD Academy of Women's Grand Prix Wrestling one. Championship. Let's go. Joe, if you're, if you're not watching right now, Joe, I need to ask you something in the end. Sir Jack, the greatest, your numbers are... Sorry, four. say that again. Zero. The following the champion versus champion contest is a... Oh, Joe Lake. Luke has a question for you. Boo the man. Wife says, boo the man. Boo. Alice already has 5K on her. Right yeah, now, there's. Help me out with a logo, Joe. Introducing the challenger, representing the Alliance. Uh, so far, six thousand Archivers bucks on the line here, guys. As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is six thousand. Get yeah, your bet on. The way I see it, there's no get a slice of the pie. Who do you think is going to be Al's Blade retaining and remaining Grand Prix Wrestling Champion, or does the Legends Champion? Take out the Grand Prix champion and go hey home. B2 belts. A double champion again. Certainly wouldn't be her first time. Probably won't be her last, but she will again be holding two championships. Alright, so while you guys are making your bets, I'll get back to that article. Uh, so they... And he's talking about ROH. Brought me in as a special guest referee for the match, the main event match, and they were going to do... And I already read that part. Where did I get to? Oh, he was praising CM Punk. They told me right there, this kid's got it. You know, the psychology part. You know what to do, when to do it, why you do it at this time, why you do it at the beginning and not at the end, so forth and so on. I mean, he had all the nuts and bolts connected, and that impressed me at, at that time. I went back to John Laurinaitis, who was in talent development, and said, you need to take a look at CM Punk and get him up here for an audition. John said, oh, we've had him up here a couple times. I said, uh, well, what did you do? He said, we, we put him in, in the ring with one of our regulars for about five minutes. You know, didn't see much. I said, well, I was in a match as a referee, and, and he went to do an hour Broadway, and he called the whole match. This kid, has he's got it. Uh, he's got the it thing, you know, the, the it. And I think you should take another look and maybe put him in there with one of our better top topper guys. And let that's a weird word to use there, topper. Our better topper guys. Oh, anyways. And let him do a 15 or 20 minute audition instead of a three to five minute quickie in and out. So they got him up there, got him in the ring, 20, and he, and he got hired. Um... So Ricky the Dragon apparently was uh, very behind CM Punk at one time. What do you think of that? <laughs> well, I got to disagree with one thing. Yeah, well, I got to disagree with one thing. He had the it. He did, Stressing on the SH. Had. <laughs> Stressing on the SH. Well, I thought you were going to go with what he had. You know, before that before that ego and bad attitude crept in. Oh, uh, that, you know, he... You know, 
Is he decent? Is he decent in the ring? Yeah, you know. He is, yeah. I can't I don't argue think that he's, I don't think he's a superstar. Um, well, he's certainly... I've never uh, heard that. And his attitude, once that attitude grew in there, and he, you know, once he started showing that again, that just, yeah. There's nothing, there's no hope for this, for that asshole. Right. I mean, he's just going to burn bridges. He's going to be a toxic person in the locker room. My question is, is he capable of even pulling that off in WWE nowadays? I don't know if he can. I don't, need, I don't think so. It's, it's a different beast than it was when he left, uh, what, seven, eight, nine years ago, whatever it's been. I, I don't think. I think if he comes back, it's it's gonna be, have to be like Eric Bischoff said. He's gonna have to come back with a completely different attitude. Or else he'll get eaten alive. Because again, you still got guys like Edge there, at least for now, until he decides to jump ship to AEW. If that may happen, I did read something recently that said that he may be closer than ever to going to AEW. But we'll see what happens with that. But you got you got the Undertaker backstage. You know, you've got you've got so many up and coming talent. We're still working very closely with the vets that are there. And then those, just the Undertaker alone would be a good reason not to misbehave, in my opinion. I mean, good luck with that shit. You know, you gotta piss off the Undertaker. I don't think that's that is not smart business. Not smart business. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, don't call Punk an asshole. Give us assholes a bad name. That's true. If you don't have any images, I can just do something and see what you like, Luke, uh, Joe said. The impulse? No. Yeah. Like, do you have any ideas for yourself of something you want for Logan? Or do you, would you just like Joe to come up with something? So... So something to do with a supernova, Joe Link. LCW Supernova is the show. So anything that correlates to a supernova. Supernova is What kind of anyways? It actually means a slowly imploding star. Yeah. But these days there's a lot of those just go to AEW. People that are trying to become stars are being imploded from within. <laughs> Again, I think all the talent, and they and they have multiple shows to showcase the talent, and they still don't showcase enough of them. But they still have no guidance, no direction. Any one of their shows, you'll see a couple good matches, yes, but you won't see an entirely good show. Again, even going back to the all-in pay-per-view at Wembley, I mean, it did not live up to the hype of the ticket sales, and they were wrong about the ticket sales, by the way. So there's that. Whether or not they flat out lied about that or just were presented the wrong information, I don't really know, but, you know. Yo, uh, Grandma's a boy. What's going on, Grandma? Welcome in. TWA Revolution on fall. SPV of 2023, episode 519 tonight. Welcome in. It's new and exciting. What's going on with Grandma's boy? And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is all. The winner of the TLC matchup and a new YTD match. Academy Women's Grand Prix Wrestling Champion from Team Honeybee Wrestling. It is the greatest women's legend of all time, representing Winter Swarm from Team Honeybee Wrestling, B. Jackson, your new Grand Prix Champion. Congratulations to Team Honeybee Wrestling. Wow, big victory for B. Jackson. Once again, Grand Prix champion. I think that might be her third or fourth reign as Grand Prix champion. I'd have to do the fact checking on that. I'd have to check Discord. Um, actually, I'll do that just to say I did. Let's see here. We're looking for the Women's Grand Prix Wrestling Championship. Here we go. B J. Oh, shit. B J. This is her sixth title reign as YTD Academy Grand Prix Wrestling Champion. Wow. Sixth reign. Congratulations to B. Jackson. Wow. So where do I, where do I put my redeeming? Because I did it like another stream ago before, and I just don't know where, I don't know where to put it at this garden, so... B. Um, oh, uh, only people with access to the, um the redeems and claims so you'd have to if you can't see the the redeems and claims section you'll just have to 
have Did froggy somebody or think that granola somebody or... Me in the room? Uh, the wrong one is. Well, it's it's uh, where is it? Hold on. Is it under storyboard? It's under storyboard, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, YTD Redemptions, Title Ops, etc. If you look under storyboard. Yeah. yeah. And then claim superstars only the mods can see that one. I've, for a moment there, I thought the redemption section was locked as well, but it's not. Right, I see the the all right, moving on to the next match of the night. Now, of course, I'll issue the payout for the last matchup. But here we go. A trip back to the men's division. This is for the men's YTD Academy Grand Prix Wrestling Championship. And look at this. Villainy. The former, and now former because he's cashing his opportunity, the former Grand Prix Junior Champion, the People's Champion, the Brahma Bull, The Rock, taking on Humboldt, the Arcane, from Team Variants of Strife. And, of course, Humboldt has already had some successful well, title defenses. Friend, he Humboldt. is more than a formidable champion. This is going to be a barn burner, I guarantee it. You don't want to miss this matchup. One single solitary second of it. Uh, now, I do believe this matchup actually is a false Humble count anywhere matchup between Rock and Humboldt. I was wrong about the Escador match. I thought it was false count area. It was a hell in a cell, and what a matchup that was. Uh, of course, uh, Gunther retained his pure wrestling championship. Escador went home empty-handed. But Rock versus Humboldt is next. But first, I'm going to issue the payout from the last match. Um... All right, so the winner was B. Jackson. 7,100 Archivers bucks being distributed right now. I don't think I can see the redemption room, you know. Oh, YTT Redemption title. There you go, it's title titles ops. and ops, yeah. It's, it doesn't say title ops, there's actually a little little comma there in between title, title and ops. Title and jackpots. Exactly. Right, so... All right, so... Well, right, they just type in what are doing. Yes. Or take a screenshot of it and put it in there like some people do if they're too lazy to type. You know, whatever. So who no, walks no, no, no. out Grand Prix champion? Is it going to be The Rock? Or is it going to be Humboldt's? Falls cat anywhere. Ten minutes to make your bets beginning right now. Incidentally, uh, Glenola, who do you think wins this Not match? The Rock here. or Humboldt? Screenshot seems more legit. I'm going go with Humboldt. You're going with Humboldt? I'll go with Humboldt, to be honest. You're going with Humboldt as well? So what general consensus on the broadcast booth so far, Glenola says Humboldt. And Luke the Gunner says Humboldt. I, too, am going with Humboldt. I do not think... That the most electrifying man or former, how dare I, former most electrifying man in sports entertainment history can outmaneuver the wizard. I don't think his, his electrifying persona is not going to affect the wizard one bit. So I say Humboldt retains his Grand Prix championship. But, I mean, don't take my word for it. I almost never get my, betting, my bets correct. However, Luke the Gooner and Glenola do both agree with and I agree with them, so there's that. You might take that into consideration. But here we go. The Rock versus Humboldt's Grand Prix Wrestling Championship on the line. Let's go. Humboldt's hands start crackling with energy as he lights All his right. lantern with it. Uh, let me catch up with chat real quick here before I continue with that article. I'll find it. Gotta go Should back we here. The Grand Prix Championship. You went to a grandma's boy. Went to a new school. Actually, first it says, "I want you very much today." I went to school. I went to the new. I went to school. Oh, what the fuck? You need to work on yourself. We have no idea what you're saying. Uh, so he says, "Wow, got two in a row right." Don't forget to check out the latest Crazy in TWA merch. Uh, betting lines are not even clear yet. Oh, Michael Corey, here comes the Jabroni beating. Right by Create a Promo. Oh, trying to lead Luke to the 
TWA storyboard. Life says, ah, our dear friend Humboldt. Strikes is not lazy here. Screenshot seems more legitimate in our book. That's fair enough. Humboldt's hands start crackling with energy as he lights his lantern with it. That's scary. I'm not even gonna lie, that's a little scary. Let me take this opportunity to say right happy right Thanksgiving right to all of you watching Froggy says tonight. the most electrifying man in say, sports I'm entertainment and The Rock. That's right. It's a good thing this match coming up that is correct. Give me a little boost. It's Saxton's Froggy's commentary. got the vibes. <laughs> all right. You know what we need before I finish that article? I think it's about time we have ourselves another Johnny joke. Johnny you joke! We didn't have any parameters on who I could closed, post to play their that stars until out, someone went so goofy. Hey, and how dare you? For everyone. Now we... Uh, Froggy says we didn't have any parameters on who could post to claim their stars until someone went goofy with it and messed it up for everyone. Now we have to gate it just a little. Correct. Yeah, yeah it's sad when we have to do things like that, but. The new jackpot number for a chance to All win right. a channel redemption of your choices. 202 the number to win a YTD championship matches. Zero one. Did anybody I think Linola, you're still the only one close to the one jackpot, which is for the YTD championship up. You got what, zero four seven? Yeah. yeah. And it's zero one six. Alrighty. So you're only thirty one points away. Sorry, go ahead. Johnny's father takes him to a horse auction. And so Johnny's sitting there watching, and his dad walks over just horse to horse. He run his hands up and down the horse's legs and the back and the chest. After a few minutes, Johnny asks, Dad, why are you doing that? Dad replies, because when I'm buying horses, I have to make sure they're healthy and in good shape before I buy. Johnny got a sudden worried look on his face and said, Dad, I think the UPS guy wants to buy Mom. The UPS guy <laughs> wants to buy mom. Wow. Good God. Uh, Froggy wow. says, wow. All right. Um, where was I in that article? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even get into it. I just opened it. So I do have another one, though. Uh, WrestlingNews.co, this, one. this is Andrew Ravens. Former AEW star Knight set to debut on WWE TV events. soon. So, WWE is about to introduce fans to another former AEW star on television after signing at Jade Cargo going to, pull to a multi-year deal. He he has been Fuck yeah. On something new while practicing the next, with the, the NXT brand will feature Brian Pillman Jr., as the company recently teased his arrival. What? How did I miss that? That is fucking epic. Lenola, we were all just talking about that. I don't think it was a recent show, but it wasn't too long ago. A few weeks ago. Yeah, but Brian Pillman and how he should be in the WWE. Man, if anybody doesn't know his dad, flying Brian Pillman, you need to go watch some old footage, especially from the Attitude Era. Remember the segment with uh, him... Uh, showing up to Stone Cold, or wait a minute, did Stone Cold show up to his house? Stone Cold showed up to his house, I think it was. And there ended up, uh, wasn't that, I'm wasn't Brian Pillman at home, or, or was Stone Cold at home? I forget now. Yeah, look that up. But in, incidentally, there ended up being a gun involved, and it actually took social, well, not social media really, but media by storm when it happened. Uh, yeah, if you can find that little and actually find the segment. Uh, for us about the the whole the involvement of the gun and Stone, Florida, his rivalry with Stone Cold. Okay. used to be a segment of his video. Sorry, say that again. England, they used to be a team, didn't they? They were a team in he WCW, yeah. Yeah, stunning Steve Austin. Champion, yep, when he was stunning Steve, Warlock. yep. Now, was he stunning Steve Austin or stunning Steve Williams, though? 
I think he was stunning Steve I Williams in that point. Yeah. Stunning yeah. Steve Austin. The best the the arena. I don't think he was Steve Austin the in WCW. Right back at the Austin invaded Pillman's house, and Pillman pulled the gun on the rattlesnake. Yeah. Um, and that was a huge, a huge feud and rivalry between the two. It was fantastic. Yeah, uh, it was. Flying Brian, he was just such a. Lo they literally called him the loose cannon, Brian Pill, and for a reason. Uh -huh. But that dude was so talented. But title, as is his, his son. If you have never seen Brian Pillman Jr. wrestle, you're missing out. That that dude is as, as good as they come. Um, you know who else I want to see in WWE? Uh, Hangman Adam Page. Got any Hangman Adam Page fans in the house? Uh, and by the way, Joe Link, we would all like to thank you for the new, the new TWA logo, which sits beautifully in the middle of the ring there, and as you can see, the watermark in, image on the screen. We want to thank you for the TWA Revolution logo, which you see on the barricade, and of course is our big SPV of 2023 for this fall. And we want to thank you for the, 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 the countless times you've... Absolutely. Taking your own free time to, to help better our channel, our community, our Discord, our, our YouTube uh, experience. You've done a lot of work. We appreciate you very much. And uh, I think Linola would say no different, nor would anybody else. So we thank you for everything you've done and continue to do. He also made me a, uh, a logo for the Coalition. Uh, he created the YTD Dark and the new Clash of the Titans logos. So, I mean, he just unwavering support, and uh, that, that is definitely appreciated. I mean, not that we don't have wavering support from everybody, but Joe Link goes above and beyond for, for our channel and for our community. So, yeah. And that's why I have, you know, put us up for the next appreciation show to be Joe Link. Joe Link Appreciation Night. I agree. I think that is our next appreciation night. Team Joe Link. And I, I think pretty much everybody would agree that it is uh, earned, deserved, fitting. So we'll definitely be planning that show in the near future. We also have to plan for our next TAV Hall of Legends show. And, of course, we also have the third annual... Halloween Havoc coming up, which I've also asked Joe Link uh, if he would make us a third annual Halloween Havoc logo as well for our big October stream preview. So three years in a row we've done a Halloween Havoc show. So again, it's one of the uh, stream previews here at the Archivers TV that stood the test of time. We have three. Uh, we have Bash at the Beach. We had our third annual Bash at the Beach this past summer. We have the third annual Halloween Havoc coming up, and of course, at the end of the year, will be the third annual TWA Slammiversary stream preview, which is, of course, uh, our improvement on uh, an old PLE. I believe it was called WrestleMania or something like that. Some dude named Vince McMahon. I don't know. You'll have to look that one up. But TWA Slammiversary will, of course, be two weeks prior to Christmas. I remember the one year we did run it right around Christmas time, Lola. You remember He's that? The second the annual right was now. much oh better received. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck and we were thinking. Like Christmas was over. We didn't run it at Christmas time. We ran it in between Christmas and New Year. But people are so busy. Christmas time, preparing for New Year's Eve, all of that stuff. And uh, although we did very well, I'm not going to sit and tell you that uh, the first ever Slam anniversary didn't do well. It did. Uh, that's when our, our numbers really started to increase. But the second annual blew it out of the water. And what a show that was. But uh, and I'm, I, I'm excited. I can't wait for both the third annual Halloween Havoc. And I cannot wait for the third annual Slammiversary. So. Uh, can we raid uh, Jake TV 72 for my redemption? Well, I mean, uh, if, if Jake is live, perhaps. Yeah. Let's wait until we're closer to the end of the show. And then we can... Yeah, we still have a bit Choose of a truck. somebody rather than just changing it every... Yeah, we still have a bit of a truck here. We have DC Icon. Kai Mirror's Curse. Uh, but anyways... Did I finish that article? I can't even remember. No, I didn't. We were talking... Because we went on a tangent about Brian Pillman and, and Brian Pillman Jr. Yeah. 
Uh, but anyways, Pillman finished up with AEW after his contract with the promotion expired and his profile was removed from AEW roster on the company website. He spent three years with the promotion, mostly paired with Griff Garrison, where they worked on Dark and Dark Elevation. Uh, Pillman started... Yeah, I know. How dare they stick him on those shows? But anyway, Pillman started with... Sorry, who did? Oh, you're talking about Humboldt. Look at the rock going at him with a sledgehammer. Good God. Humboldt's taking a pounding. The Rock is dropping the hammer. Uh, so Pillman started with WWE NXT late last month. What? After taking part in a tryout in June in Orlando, Florida, where he has since been training at the Performance Center. How did we miss that, and how did they not leak that out? Because i got to be honest, I think this is the first I've heard about him joining. I thought I saw something on Facebook where somebody mentioned it in the comments, but it was like... I haven't seen anything. I don't think this is true. You know, if I didn't say anything. So, there's also there's a there's a, a scene on I believe it's YouTube. No, it's on Twitter. And it's a mysterious figure is seen watching an old TV set showing footage of old clips, including Cincinnati Bengals game and WCW from the early 90s. Now, Pillman is a big fan of the Bengals and is built from Cincinnati, and his late father, Brian Pillman, used to wrestle for WCW during this time. It's unclear when he'll make his promotional debut, but Brian Pillman coming to WWE NXT as soon. Fuck yeah! Jade Cargill, Brian Pillman. Just so everybody knows, my controller is going to die at some point, and I'm going to have to switch it out. But as usual, we're not going anywhere. I just got to switch it out at some point. Well, I would love to have a PS5, but uh, it's it's not in the works right now, mostly because, number one, we're gearing up to get ready to move at some point. As soon as we possibly can, because we, we're not happy with our current location uh, and the slumlords we have for landlords. Uh, but first and foremost, the most exciting news in my life is the fact that I'm getting married in the new year, and I'm saving money so that I can marry my my best friend and soulmate. I'm getting yeah, we are getting married in the new year. Yep. So it's something we actually planned about ten years ago, but things happen. We had a bit of a bump in the road. Things changed for us for a little bit. Well, I mean, for some people, it's... I mean, you could say it's just a piece of paper, but at the end of the day, it's also a, a more solidifying legal union between two people, and that's really a lot. You know, when, if, if you love somebody that much, and, uh, for, for instance, she, she, she can't wait to take my last name, and I can't wait to give it to her. And... You know, we, we've been friends for over 20 years. Uh, we've been lovers for over a decade, and she is my best friend. And uh, so I am I am definitely going to take the vows. I am definitely going to take the vows. But... Uh, DJ Snow Beast! What's going on, DJ? DJ, I'm going to get married in December to my best friend if things work out. Oh, that is awesome, DJ. Congratulations, bro. Jack says, aren't sure you weren't supposed to tell anyone about us. I, I think they already blew it out of the water of who I was talking about there, Sir Jack. But nice try. I mean, you won't even offer to buy dinner or join us on the broadcast booth. So why? I appreciate it. It is awesome. And I'm very happy. I've, I've never been this happy in my entire life. Um, even our former life we had, it was great, and, and we were in love, but even our former life isn't as good as, as it is now. She's she's such a phenomenal woman. I mean, if you get me going, I'm going to end up talking about Mrs. Archer all night long, because she's an amazing, amazing woman. Mother, she works hard, she's got a, she works in. No, we do have her, she has her own wrestler, and this is, that is, that is her wrestler. But, uh, oh, you have a new Okay. Yeah, we do, yep, she's got not as active as, as as everybody else, but she's still trying to find uh, her place in TWA and figure out where she's going. And she tried yeah, things, tried things out, you know, with uh, was it the Blade Runners, or the Outlaws girl. I forget now. But anyways, that didn't that didn't pan out. 
I believe it's me. I have my friends. My friends. I have my friends. Call it my universe. She chose to leave the blade. Sir Jack says she chose to leave the blade. I think she was more, you know, voluntold to leave the Blade Runners, though, was she not? <laughs> to be fair. How is the challenger still in this match? I don't know how these guys are still going at it. They've been feeding each other with everything from fists and, and feet to fucking sledgehammers, and they're both still in it to win it. This is a crazy match. It, I know. It is a badass match. I'm not talking I know. Now you expect nonetheless when it comes to Humboldt Sierra King. Triple H, Triple H, you told me this last time. Triple H would. I agree. <laughs> Sir Jack says she wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is oh, wow. all. The winner of the match and still your rating defending undisputed YTD action. Academy Grand Prix Wrestling Champion mm -hmm. from Team of Variants of Strife. It is Humboldt's the RK picking up the big W over the great one. And is still your Grand Prix Wrestling Champion. Congratulations to Strife. Oh, guys, my wifey, speaking of, she is calling me right now, so I'll be right back. Glorilla, toss it a Johnny joke. It's a good thing the right. Rock has a second One day during a lesson on proper grammar, the teacher asked for a show of hands for who could use the word beautiful in the same sentence twice. The new yeah, first she called a little on little Susie. My father Rachel bought says, my mother a beautiful Susie dress and she looked beautiful at it. Now, very good, Susie, but the teacher. Then she called on Michael. My mommy planned a beautiful banquet and it turned out beautifully. You know, excellent, Michael. Then the teacher called on Johnny. Last night at the dinner table, my sister told my father she was pregnant, and he said, beautiful, fucking beautiful. Boothlip is great. <laughs> LOL. 8x Joe and Nye hype combo. Throws Joe out the window by the beard. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> okay, I have Welcome returned. Back. Sorry about that. Uh, she was just wondering if I could uh, help somebody out, but I'm kind of right in the middle of a show. I can't just walk away to help. <laughs> well, I mean, I could, but I mean, that would be, it would end up being a very long sh wait for the next match. So there's that. <laughs> but, anyways. Oh, um, would be the first two parter on streamer like that. Pardon me. Does she know you're streaming? She does. Yeah. She just wanted to know how like how long I was going to be because he needed help doing something. But the yeah, actually would be the first two parter. Wouldn't be the first two parter. <laughs> that's that's actually true. That is true and valid. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. Here we go. Now this is a matchup that a lot of people have been waiting to see for quite a few days now and it is of course the Wolfman Alan Severn who of course cashed yeah, in on Kareem Key stats. Woods in a matchup for the Junior Legends Championship. The Wolfman Alan Severn won that matchup, became the Junior Le Legends Champion and is now coming to TW Revolution to challenge the one for his Legends Championship and I gotta tell you he's on a historic run. He has defeated 15 yes. Legends, had 14 Championship title defenses and he is simply on a roll with that championship. However, the man previously that held the record at 11 championship title defenses, and not to mention was the last person in a Legends Championship matchup to defeat the one Elijah Archer, because Archer once challenged Alan Severn for the title, but came up short and lost. Alan Severn retained the title. They are going to battle. It is going to be a false count anywhere matchup. Anything could happen where you have to expect the unexpected. But it is the Wolfman from Team Glenola taking on the one for the Legends Championship. That is next. I do have to issue the payout for the next matchup. I'll tell you, I would I be interested to figure out what the record is between Archer and Wolfman. Oh god, well I mean <laughs> their history goes way back. Yeah, I mean 
It'd be interesting to see who's got the edge. The edge. I, I should be out here helping the collision, the, the, the coalition, man. All right, so I issued the Archiverse Bucks for the last uh, matchup. It was only 1,510 Archiverse Bucks, but it has been distributed. All right, so... <sighs> okay, okay, who okay. walks out Legends Champion? Is it going to be the challenger and former... I mean, he was... he 11 times he defended that championship. Ever, he set a record. You ever thought you put your guys up for the win? Uh... My guy or, or Glenola's? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you ever think your guy's never going to win? Not There's def win definitely... Well, I mean, like I said, the last time these two guys faced each other, uh, uh, it was Archer challenging Severn for the Legends Championship, and Archer, and Archer lost. Actually... Uh, Archer and I both have gone against our wrestlers in the past. Oh yeah, many times. Many times. They can't always win. It's actually difficult. Actually, I want to get uh, one of the, one of the Wolfman's greatest matches. If I recall, I voted against him winning. Uh, against Jay Simmons. No, the one with uh, Christian Hart for the, oh, the, one with Christian that submission Hart. match. That was, it. oh my the god, that was amazing. Match. That, the hammerlock right, match. I, We're just dubbing it that now. Yeah. I, I honestly, if I recall, I thought that Christian Hart was going to win it because the Wolfman was not known for submissions at No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't at all. So for him to win it at all, much less the way he did, it just went down in infamy. I mean, won it with a hammer lock. That's crazy. And is for the All Star Championship. All right. But anyways, here we go. And here comes the Wolfman. Things are going to get a little crazy. Variants of strife, huh? That's what it feels like. All right, now where were we here? I'm trying to remember if we're in the middle of an article still or not. Well, I'm, I'm going to get myself off the broadcast screen for a bit. So I'm going to go play some Mortal Kombat. I'm going to catch you all in a bit. Nice, enjoy Mortal Kombat. I'm going to go. I'm going Thanks to go for being here. Catch the last two matches later on. We appreciate you being here either way. Opportunity, Byron, is the title will be on the line here. Have a great time. Judging from the response I will. on social media, heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crown. You're going to go beat the shit out of people, rip out oh, some throats, yeah. tear each other's spines out, whatever you want to do. Great, yeah, but I, I do recommend it when it goes down. Surprise. All right. Now, as, as, of right, right. Mm. as of right now, there's 10,000 on Wolfman. There's 2.5 thousand on Archer. Man, it's lopsided. What are you guys trying to say? Well, like I said, the last time these two guys fought, I mean, it was a long match, and it could have gone either way, but Archer ended up losing. So. All right. I'm going to get my next controller ready for when this one decides to kick the bucket. It's going to happen eventually. All right, so now it's up 10,000 versus 3,000. 10,000 versus 3,000. All right. Well, I just redeemed a Johnny joke because I have to visit the facility, so I shall be right back. Drop drove, folks. This is going to be big. Check out the latest craze in TWA merch. Purchase your coffee cup, tea or ball cap right now. URL. Tro, being Canadian slang Here we for go, money. Alright, one day, well, Johnny's dad is just getting out of the shower. Johnny happened to see him. And, and what's that hanging between your legs? Johnny, that's my nerve, and yours will be this big one of these days, replies Johnny's dad. 
Anyway, the next day while in school, Johnny really had to pee. So he raises his hand and that miss, I really need to go to the bathroom. Teacher says, no, not yet. There's someone already gone. Stop being able to hold it. Johnny walks over the garbage can and just starts pissing in it. Surprised to see her student pissing in a garbage can in front of the whole class. Teacher says, my Johnny, you have a lot of nerve. Johnny says, that's nothing. You should see my father's. Nice four with Jolin, nine high pyramid Jolin. LOL. No. 10x Jolin, nine high combo. Ha. Huh. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 235 pounds, Wolfman Allen Seven. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the all-star champion, Alrighty. the one, Elijah Arthur. We got uh, four minutes, about four and a half minutes left to place your bets. There's 13,000 in there right now. Here's where it counts. Here is where it's settled. The prize is on the line. Lau. Right as the bell was <laughs> And the controller just disconnected. So we're going to be on a hold until Archer gets back. Oh man, the controller went to sleep right before the action. Well, at least it wasn't during the match, LOL. Okay, Archer. well, without the action to entertain, um, I'll give you guys Archer. another one. Uh, sitting in history class, Johnny's teacher asked, George Washington not only chopped down his father's Controller. cherry tree, but also admitted doing it. Do any of you know Archer. why his father didn't ER, punish ER, him? ER. Johnny kind of looks up, says, because George was the one holding the axe? Fair laugh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, living out in the country, Johnny you know, is on. didn't have a indoor bathroom. He had to use an outhouse, and he hated that outhouse. So one day after school, nobody was around, so he went up and he tipped over the outhouse and took off running. Well, later that night, after dinner, his father's like, Johnny, I want to see you in my study. Uh, Johnny's a little nervous because he knows that's never a good sign. You know, that usually means he's about to get his ass whipped. So he walks in the study. Steve knows how that feels. Shuts the door. Father looks at him and says, Johnny, did you meow, tip over meow, that outhouse? Meow, 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 oh, Johnny meow, takes meow, back meow, to meow, 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 history meow. class and teachers tell him about George Washington chopping down a cherry tree and didn't get in trouble after George admitted it. So I was like, yes, Father, I cannot tell a lie. I did tip it over. Yeah. 
Father picks up his belt, says, that's bend over, boy. Frog Hemeth legs language. That's been the whipping of his lifetime. After he was done, Charlie said, but, but I admitted to what I did. And when George Washington cut down the cherry tree and admitted that he did it, he didn't get punished. Yeah, boy, but George Washington's father wasn't in the cherry tree when it happened. <laughs> LOL LOL Championship action underway. The champ looks as hungry and prepared here as ever. Yeah, they have absolutely no desire to even entertain the possibility of walking out of here tonight here the without go. their title. Vicious knee drop. He's able to fend off the attack. A big forearm connects. He's taking this to the floor now. And welcome back, Archer. Bon, you have finally banned the broadcaster. Congratulations. Look at this. Even oh, Bronner couldn't do it. Setting him up, got the head scissors on, sharp elbow. Hits bon him with CDST the counter. Bon. You have finally banned the broadcaster. Congratulations. Even Bronner couldn't do it. No escape, but maybe there is. Wow, how impressive is that? The new jackpot number like four that, chance to win a channel redemption floor. of your choices. Moves two zero outside. two, What's the, the number to win a YTD championship matches. Zero one. Ah, oh, this is a way to incapacitate every inch of your opponent slowly, methodically, and painfully. <sighs> Yeah, well, man, uh, power down like of that. This can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? <laughs> oh, here we go. Archer and Wolfman going outside the ring to fight. Take the pace of the match since Been here numerous times. Oh, the champ has this one in hand now. <laughs> oh, kick out, kick out at two. And look at the disbelief on the face of the it's champion. The they both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. <laughs> And he sends him into the corner. Another archer. Oh, oh God face. almighty. Christian Hart knows no boundaries, folks. It is absolutely gassing yeah, hard man. Over the years, uh, over the years, uh, uh, these two have been fighting fight, fight some great fights. Uh. Big archer. Archer you know, archer to a lot the of times they'll and just sit there and fight each other, and not even archer think about wins. To the back of the head and archer goes um, Archer will have to correct me if I'm wrong after he gets back, but I believe the two of them one, one night fought up on the top of the stage and just wouldn't come down. The gods had to intervene to get towards back down to the ring so the match could get. <laughs> Little Johnny is sitting outside swatting flies as the priest walks by hearing Johnny saying, Goddamn flies, the priest walks up and tells to put in the rest. Yeah, they fought for almost an hour. How's the dead one, Slow Beast? Well, Falls Count Anywhere matches never disappoint, and this one was no exception. <laughs> well, that was How there he hit the AKO that time? He only took two tries. And Here's Archer pulls it off! Still wow! Still wow. Archer took the all the abuse and literally said to you up there. No other way to put it, guys.
guys, that was kind of a butt kicking. Never a doubt. Yeah. Really a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. So Archer, uh, Archer will be happy when he gets that. <laughs> Figured I'd try a Johnny joke for a laugh. Cough, cough, booking got paid, cough. One five title defenses, but that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that has to be a record. Oh, it is currently the record, Ger Strife. Uh, even if it is for, just for the uh, title. Defenses. Although the Archer. The terror scoops Archer up and slams him hard to the canvas and here we go. Johnny Braddock, the mayor of Elbowville, taking Archer for a lead, skipping the rest. It is currently the record. Just on the phone with MRS Archer. Look at all that money we just lost. Laughing. The Wolfman had the previous record. Gongs. Yeah, I, I lost the record share of it. <laughs> Thanks, Liv is great. I put 8K on Wolfman. And that shows you that I don't always choose right. XD. Oh, holy wait. wait. I mean, a young I woman was taking golf home lessons home and just started playing her first round of golf when she suffered a bee sting. Pain was so intense, she decided to return to the clubhouse for medical assistance. The golf pro saw her heading back and said, Wow, you're back early. What's wrong? I was stung by a bee, he said. Or she said, You were where? he asked. Uh, between the first and second hole, she replied. He nodded and said, your stance is far too wide. GDIG. Give a man a match, and he'll be warm for a few hours. Set a man on fire, and he yep. will be warm for the rest of his life. Lol. To see a complete list of champions from each respective brand, simply type TWA, WCW or YTD skipping the rest. Smoke break. Anyone wanting?
Uh, I don't smoke anymore, Strath. There. Our uncle is the same way. Used to smoke all he time back in the day. Now the smell makes him gag and it's hilarious. Yeah, I uh, quit uh, 16 years ago. Archer has the magic touch. Archer has the tuck. Just Dante led him around Christian Hart because he will get kicked in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Someone want to do betting lines or does it jave to be Archer? <laughs> Uh, any of the mods can sub betting lines. I really don't know how. I've never done it, uh, you know, in the chat. Um, so let me look to see if it's something I can set up here from here. Well, actually, not good because I'm terrible with names anyway, so. Someone got it. Here comes trouble. <laughs> Gunfire goes oh, okay. up in the distance. Well, we need to go change pants. Probably Joe because it wasn't us or Glenn, though that also doesn't exclude Jack. Who hmm, curiouser and curiouser? It's a big time oh, there you go. Archer might have done it without saying anything. Yeah, do it. Michael, and judging Maybe from the right. response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight.
variants of stripe let me take this opportunity to say happy thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight i gotta say i don't know if it's because i ate too I much am turkey taking care or of just saxton's at the commentary moment. it's a good thing this match coming up is gonna give me a little boost it's saxton's commentary <sighs> Look who it is! Alrighty. One more guy. Oh no, my mouse is back. I have returned. Uh, back. Sorry about that, Mrs. Archer called, so I had to take the phone. But uh, I see the one Elijah Archer actually beat Alan Severn. I gotta be honest, yeah, I would have yeah. I would have bet on Wolfman for that one just simply because they're last. Did you put ten? On him. Did you put 10? <laughs> so I put a on Wolfman. He is on a record. A history making run with that Legends oh, wow. title. That is now uh, 16 Legends and 15 championship title defenses. Hey guys, with, and that's the old, let me tell you something, and you can ask, well, no, literally, first of all, it's weird. Second of all, that's the only championship he's ever, ever held it for that length of time and be, being able to do that kind of, I mean, he's just doing amazing things in the Legends division. Uh -huh. You go back and look at his, his now mind you, a couple times he had his championship exploded. We don't know what he would have done then, but usually, yeah, I mean, usually, you know, technically speaking, he has a championship, he maybe defends it once, and then he ends up losing it, but my God, he likes that Legends championship. Um, you know, Arthur wasn't allowed that a lot of times. Uh, Joe Link says Archer has the magic touch. Archer has the touch. Just don't let him around Christian Hart because he will get kicked in the nuts. Yeah. Tag team championships uh, on the line. Oh, actually, uh, team win. Tyson. Really got that going. Strife says, give a man a match, and he'll be warm for a few hours. Set a man on fire, he'll be warm for the rest of his life. Uh, what else did I miss? Someone want to do the betting lines? Betting lines are, have already been uh, have been done. Tyson, it was, yes. Typhus Tyson, all the time. Anytime there was a... A promo between those two. And they met in the middle of the ring. Archer got a kick in the nuts. It was gaslit. Uh, but I did actually miss most of the match with Archer and Wolfman. I, how did that play? I saw the end of it, but I didn't I didn't see the rest of it. So what happened there? Well, I saw it was a pretty good match. Uh, Oni Shinobi! Welcome in, Oni Shinobi. Welcome to TWA Revolution. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah, Archer went for an AKO and completely missed. I think he tried to grab and dive at the same time. So he missed, and then the second, he hit the second try and got the pin. But... Strife says, what's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. I mean, yeah. I don't think any of us want to get hit in the teeth with a brick. All right. Uh, you know what? I think I will give everybody one more Johnny joke. One more Johnny joke? Let's do it. First grade teacher was starting a new lesson on multi-syllable words. You know, she thought it'd be good to ask a few of the children examples of words with more than one syllable. You know, Jane, do you know any multi-syllable words? After thinking for a few minutes, Jane replied, Monday. You're great. That has two syllables. Monday. Anyone else know another word? I do. I do. Me, me. Replied Jack. But no, Johnny's more mature sense of humor. She picks Mike instead. Okay, Mike, what is your word? Saturday, says Mike. Great. That has three syllables. <laughs> Not one of the other guys. I know a four syllable word. Hit me. Uh -oh. Not thinking he can do any harm with all work that long. Pizza Room, my holy says. Okay, Johnny, what's your four syllable word? Johnny probably looks good. Masturbation. Shot the teacher trying to retain her composure. So, well, Johnny, that's four syllables. That certainly is a mouthful. No, ma'am, you're thinking of blowjob. That's only two syllables. I just read that some wow. London jets said every five seconds. Good old Johnny jokes. Look at the squeeze. It's on. Like um, a 
just looks nasty. I might have to step away from the broadcast again for a few moments because it looks like my daughter might be here. I'm conf I'm confused by the text. But what is it with people fucking with me over messages? I can never exactly tell exactly what they're talking about. But I think she might be here. So if she is, I might have to step away for a few months. But I am paying attention, so I'll know what's going on. And she will come upstairs anyways. But, uh, anyways. Uh, so you said that the matchup was a fairly decent one between Archer and, and Severn, at least? Yeah. Stripe says, damn it, Johnny. Stripe says, I just read someone in London gets stabbed every 52 seconds. Poor guy. Someone in London gets stabbed every 52 seconds. Poor guy. Okay. Someone must be the name of a person. Or people. Someone. A person gets stabbed, right? Yeah. How do you know it's not a poor gal, though? How do you know it's not poor gal? I, I just asked for a clarification on the message. This physique bandy so eats two meals a day, breakfast and breath furious. Well, I mean, she asked if I was working. I said, not at the moment. We are live. And she's like, oh, okay, figured I'd check because I'm here. I don't see anybody. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm still waiting for a response. Uh, Froggy says to maintain his physique Vin Diesel eats two meals a day Wow ladies and gentlemen that is it That is all the winners of the match And new Tag team champions They represent Team Joe Link and the Outlaws It is Fetlana Vadraska and Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. They pick up the big W and your new TWA World Tag Team Champions. Congratulations to Team Joe Link. The Outlaws, of course, have Lana Vadraska. Big win over Sky Wolf and your new World Tag Team Champions. All right, so I'll issue the payout for that. Give me a second while I do that. Actually, there's still 36 seconds left on the fucking betting lines. Isn't that nice? Now's a good time if you haven't got a bet in yet, guys. There's still 30, well, now 28 seconds left. Still no response. I got to tell you. Children. Even when they don't live with you, they find ways to get under your skin. I, like, answer the question. But anyways. Oh, I All right. Put that in. I hit the wrong button. Sorry, you did what? I was trying to put a bet in, but I didn't. I hit the wrong button. Oh, you didn't make it? No. Well, there was a little, uh, a little over 21,000. Oh, she was at my place of employment. Oh, crappy. I could have got to see my granddaughter. New name. New name. New name. I'm like, oh, I thought you meant here. Anyways, all right. So new uh, TWA World Tag Team Champions, the Outlaws. Again, congratulations to Team Joe Lake and the Outlaws. Big win taking home some gold and here we go with the next match of the evening and of course this matchup is going to be for the men's TWA World Tag Team Championships and this is a tag team triple threat elimination matchup between the Samoan Coalition from Team Soul Embers it is Big Bubba B and Solo Sokoa taking on Purchase the reigning cup, defending champions, the Heart right Foundation, you and of course, know. Legato Del Fantasma. Now the question is, who do you guys think's walking out the victors here? Who's walking out with the TWA World Tag Titles? Are the Heart Foundation going to retain their titles? 
Or are we going to see new Play. champions? And if we are going to see new champions, is it going to be Legato uh, Del Fantasma? Or is it going to be the Simone Coalition? I'll get the betting line open right now. Well, as soon as I issue the payout for the last whoever one. The script says. 21,000 Archiverse Bucks being distributed Today, to whoever chose the Outlaws. Superstar. Today, DJ Snow Beast is Ric Flair. Yeah, so my daughter is not here. She was at my place of employment. <laughs> Why do I keep... I, I, there we go. Today, I couldn't spell T. Alright, so who's walking at the World Tag Team Champions? Is it going to be the Samoan Coalition? Legato Del Fantasma LDF or the reigning defending champions the Hart Foundation which is of course led by Team Christian Cool although to be fair I'm not sure if he still has them under contract anymore I can't remember if he recently re-inked those guys to a contract or not Hey guys, I'm back. MOG sad but relieved face. Um. Why is it not letting me do anything here? There we go. Alright. And there we go. Betting lines are open. Go ahead and make hey, your bets on who you think is going to win the match. In the meantime, time to turn and burn for the TWA World Tag Team Championships. Let's go. Tornado Tag Team Action. Elimination. Triple threat time. Three teams going to battle. Who's it going to be? Of course, LDF were the Junior Tag Team Champions. That's how they got into this match to begin with. And, of course, the Samoan Coalition have been leaving a path of destruction and earned their way to the matchup themselves. It's going to be a hell of a matchup. Now, personally, the if I was going to make a bet, i got to go with the Small Coalition. They are affiliated with the Coalition. Match. And it's, for and it's Big Bubba B and Solo Sokoa. I really hard to bet against them. I think, at the very least, no matter who wins, I think the Hart Foundation is dethroned tonight. Well, what do you think? 730 pounds. Yeah, I think they're going to be dethroned, but I'm not... Really, I can't... Bruno, the who guess who's going to win this one? It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. But I think they, uh, I think we will see a new champion. I, I believe so as well. Uh, Honeybee Wrestling. Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back, Honeybee. Uh, Honeybee says it's cool. Just heard the news about Adam Cole. Um, did you hear the news about B. Jackson, or were you here for that match? Honey B, I don't know if you were here for the B. Jackson match or not. No. All right. And at a combined weight of um, Honey B says, pounds. nope, you they haven't heard the news the about B. Jackson. Good God, it is trending worldwide. Are you stuck in a hole under a rock somewhere? Redeem claim a superstar three. Bret Hart for Christian Cool. Well, now we just need Jim the Animal Nightheart. There we go. Jolink gifting honor, Christian Cool you know, has now has of being one of the both Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Amble Night Hart for a further 180 sorry. days. Honeybee says, yeah, watching AEW, sorry. You should be sorry. How dare you? TWA Revolution is greater than AEW. Okay, someone's claimed Bret Hart now, lad. Uh, Froggy says, Swable Gay, someone's claimed Bret Hart now. Why was somebody else going to claim Bret Hart? What did they miss? Today, variants of Strike is China. 
Strafe is the ninth Remember, wonder of the world. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Joe Link, uh, yeah, the super star, playing Superstar 3 on both Red Heart and Jim Neidhart for Christian Cool. Yeah, I knew that. I just saw Froggy said somebody's playing Bret Hart now. I didn't know if somebody else was trying or was going to. Oh, and okay. Joe Link might have uh, ruined that plan. I don't know. I do not know. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to But either way, now the under the you know what, guys, management of Christian Cool once again for a further 180 the days is the Heart Foundation. Uh, Honeybee says, so Adam Cole revealed he is going to have to have surgery. He basically shattered his ankle and tore it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, damn. That sucks. So he's probably going to be out a good part of a year. This or close to, I would think. Uh, Stray says we were thinking about it since Brett trained humble to submissions and wrestling in general. Nice. Well, who knows? Maybe maybe Humboldt will join the Heart Foundation. I mean, that would be weird, but it could happen. Honeybee says, yeah. Yeah, that sucks because Adam Cole is one of the only reasons I even tune in to AEW anymore. I like Adam Cole a lot. I like Adam Cole a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, Alright, so I got one more article to read for the Dirt Sheets. After that, it's pretty slim pickings on anything that m might vaguely be interesting. Uh, but this is WrestlingNews.co by Andrew Ravens and is Jade Cargill saying, I want to capture WWE Gold and main event WrestleMania. Well, that is the vibes you want to come into the company with right there. So it's been one day since WWE officially announced that Jade Cargill signed a multi-year contract with the company and that announcement has taken over social media. The video of her arriving at the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida to train at the facility already has 5 million viewers. Uh, the announcement post of her signing has 14 million views. Cargill has been making the rounds to discuss the move, the latest attempt by WWE to introduce her to fans and make the signing a big deal. It is not known when the former AEW star will debut on WWE TV. Uh, while speaking with Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated, Cargill discussed her goals in WWE. Uh, she said, I understand what I'm here for. I want to capture gold and I want to headline WrestleMania, but none of that is handed out. I want to work to create those phenomen uh, phenomenal moments. I want to have marquee matches. I want to get people talking and I want to create something bigger than myself, Cargill said. Also, great vibes to be coming into the company with. Uh, Cargill added that while some fans may not like her, they will tune in to watch her. Well, if you don't watch her, that's a pretty good reason why you might for some reason not like her. Because if you've watched her, I don't know why you wouldn't like her. She is a phenom, especially in AEW. She's now the WWE, but she's going to continue that legacy, I guarantee it. Uh, I think she's eventually going to have Charlotte Flair type success. You know, I'm not saying she's going to have... 15 or 16 world titles, but she's going to have that type of success. She is absolutely phenomenal in the ring. Um, so yeah, other than that, there's not really anything else interesting to talk about as far as dirt sheets go. Um, so area well there is one more thing looks like Ariana Andrews says there is unfinished business in WWE I said WWE oh that's interesting I just created a whole new promotion uh, but she's excited about running her own promotion this is by Michael Schrute WrestlingNews.co so in an exclusive interview like everybody wants to start a wrestling promotion they, they all can't be uh, the host at the most they just need to stop but anyway in an exclusive interview for WrestlingNews.co, Steve Fall interviewed former WWE star Ariana Andrew, known to fans as Cameron, when she was in the Funkadactyls with Naomi, which is Trinity Fatu, and Brodus Clay Tyrus, depending on how you know him. Andrew is launching her own promotion, Pound Tap Wrestling. Um, at Heat, Weho in West Hollywood, California, on October 12th. And if you come to the to the article here on WrestlingNews.co, there is a link if you want ticket info. 
So Ariana Andrews comments on Tyrus controversies and retiring from wrestling. He sa she said, I, I feel like that's a touchy conversation just in general, just for things that have been going on around with Tyrus lately. But, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm not quite sure how old he is. But I know, you know, it's been some time since we were doing the Funkadactyls and the whole Funkasaurus thing. I feel like, you know, there's, there comes a time, especially, don't get me wrong, I feel like in the wrestling community, they say, stuck in the past, it's like, you know, you can never progress. It's like, I even say, I'll be in my grave, and, and I'm like, hey, girl, when are you going to return to the ring? It's like, well, I'm no longer on this earth anymore. I do think there comes a time when you know it's time to hang up the boots. Uh, oh, hold on one second. My daughter's giving me a call. I'll be right back. All right. It's human at this point. Capitalizing on Sakawa's Does he have it here? The Hitman has the sharpshooter cinched in. Excellently executed. Sharpshooter's locked in. Hart is cranking it with everything he's got. Is Hart going to tap him? Looks like he has other plans here. Now with him in a submission. Don't you forget to follow the action in oh, the man, we're like a ten count now. Well placed punch. You are now for a big Big Maraluna should be out of there. Now with him for the submission attempt win. Your favorite, Saxton. Jim Neidhart has been eliminated. And the official calls it clearly they cannot so we'll just any bitch slap both hearts at once. Oh, well, false count anywhere matches never disappoint, and this one was no exception. Yeah, the game priorities are submissions first. <laughs> I have returned, and good God, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and new TWA World Tag Team Champions from Team Soul Embers. It is Big Bubba B and Solo Sokoa, the Samoan Coalition, your new World Tag Team Champions. Heart Foundation got screwed. Heart Foundation got screwed. What happened? I was on, well, I'm still on the phone. Oh, I've actually got, I've actually got Minishi on uh, FaceTime, but I told her I'd be a second. Oh. I had to acknowledge the ending yeah. of the match. Well, yeah, Brad had uh, Sequoia in a um, sharpshooter, while um, <laughs> the Anvil had Big Baruno pinned. Right. There was at least a ten count, but the ref ignored the pin. I just oh sat no! There watching Bret Hart. Oh no! And nobody bet on that match hardly either. Only 500 Archivers bucks on the line here. So the Hart Foundation got screwed. Oh no! Well, they're going to be looking for a rematch, and so will Team Christian Cool. Uh huh. All right, but the Samoan Coalition, your new World Tag Team Champions, congratulations, and it's on to the next match of the evening. We're just about to the championship rounds. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know Mary Fuller. She, she had a bit of a rocky start to her career, but she has since hit the plateau, I think, as far as up-and-comers because she is soaring above the plateau right now, and she's made her way to TWA Revolution to face Roxanne Riley for the WrestleWars Television Championship. She is from Mr. Pink Gaming, okay. and, of course, Roxanne Riley from Team okay, Life is Great. That is our next match of the night. I'll get the betting line open for that. And now my wife's calling me too. Good Lord, everybody's calling. I will get the betting line set up and I'll get the match underway. Glenola, I'll be back. Holy hell. Alrighty. Even for dark matches, I'm kind of plateauing. Rings bell, Shane. Rings bell, Shane. That ass Alice girl. Shame, 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 rings bell, shame, 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 shame lol. Lol, lol. DJ Snow Beast, if you oh, well. you'll get back into it soon. Here we go. Um, another Johnny joke for you guys. 
Jo well, Johnny's, Johnny's in class, class and teacher, teacher now, now they're going to try, try something, something different to help everyone get to know each other a little better, better you know, and to help with their spelling. With getting back into she explains, I want you to stand up and give us the occupation of your father, spell it, and say one thing he would give us all if he were here today. First student raised her hand to volunteer. Marcy, the teacher said, you may go first. Marcy replied, my father is a banker, B-A-N-K-E-R. And if he were here today, he'd give us all a shiny new penny. She said, very nice, Marcy. Now who wants to go next? Kevin stood up and announced, my father is a baker, B-A-K-E-R. And if he was here today, he'd give us all a freshly baked cookie. Yeah, very good, teacher from Kevin. You know, Jeff was next, and he says, my father is an accountant, A K. No, wait, A C K. No. Before he could attempt to spell it once more, teacher cut him off, told him to sit back down and to think about it for a while. When he thought he knew how to spell it, he could stand back up and try again. Jo oh. Little Johnny raised his hand in excitement, hoping to be acknowledged by the teacher. Teacher called on Johnny to go next. Johnny says, My father is a bookie. B O O K I E. And if he was here today, he'd give us all 20 to 1 odds. Jeff will never be able to spell account. Put on D A red L E I I I I G H T. Very nice police reference, Froggy. L O L. I'm dead. Laugh. That is a great song. <laughs> I don't I think don't Archer think likes the police. police. <laughs> the following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the Television Championship. Variants of strife, I hope so at some point. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a if long Archer time. If Archer doesn't like the police, he doesn't have to stand so close to me. Exactly, you know. So just went back, back to watch the very being on my match. I mean, we are all just spirits in a material world. Grand champion. Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment, and that tradition continues here tonight. Grand Prix. Hell yeah, honeybee. Ida says this is your sixth reign in the former champions section. That bitch stole my foot locker. Emoji face with tears of joy. Laugh. Here we go, guys. The championship is on the I line here in this one. And I'll tell stuff. you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. One TV long, guys. Well, well, I, I had recorded in June. I was a Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's just Saxton's commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up is gonna give me a little boost. It's Saxton's commentary. Minnie, she says hi, Glenola.
Introducing the challenger from Fulton, New York, Mary Jane Fuller. And her opponent from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hello, she is the television champion, sorceress Roxanne Riley. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. This title defense begins, and it really is lonely at the top, wouldn't you say? Once you're at the pinnacle, Saxton, you don't care about friends. You have one solitary goal, and that is to defend your title at any cost. And the forearm smash. Both wrists captured, and oh. <laughs> Able to reverse that one. Oh. Suplex. <laughs> she was clearly waiting for that. To the outside. This could get wild. We know what this means. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Ooh, look at her answering back. If you are on Twitter, you can follow the Archerverse there as well. URL. Oh, vicious running knee lift. The hits adding up a little on the champ. Oh, Corey, this type of match can be torturous. What goes into a superstar's preparation? Physical conditioning and mental focus. You can't take any cover. Shoulders are down. Pushes through after two. She's still as determined as ever. The new jackpot Stops number for a chance to win a channel a redemption of your choices. 202, uh -oh. the number to win a YTV championship Lights matches. 0-1. She goes. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh! She's going for it. This could be. Kick it out in time. So, so close. That could have been it. Up across the shoulders. Down oh, right. Gonna see a new champ. Yeah. Cover. One, the champ kicks out at two. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? And able to counter. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Just pinning the arm down and, that, and a carefully measured knee drop. Carefully measured knee drop. The challenger eating up some damage. Made her pay for her mistake. Was ready for that. <laughs> Suplex. It's been a fun show attack. so far. She avoids the contact. Savage knee to the face. Ooh. Oh, look at. Look at all these oh card stuns. Not three. Shot to the face gets them out of that spot. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. Think about all the Oh, yeah. This has been a great show. You know, though it always is. So. Not let this match end. 
Indeed. Perched on the shoulders. Oh! Feast your eyes. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Now she scores the early fall. She's got an answer for that. Oh, nice takedown. We're going to lock it in. LaBelle oh. locked. Oh, LaBelle lock is in. This would be an amazing upset. Can she get a critical moment here? Are they going to tap? Are they going to break the LaBelle lock? And they did. Oh, what a oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm rooting for Roxanne Riley on here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, been a great oh, show. For this match. Cover. Is it enough? No. So it's more rooting for Team White, huh? This will not go away. <laughs> Going for it. Looking for the LaBelle lock. Got the cross face applied. You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Can she take the All right. And I see we just had a fall. Roxanne Mary Riley picking up a fall over. A now, what's the fall. score? Has Mary Fuller recorded a pinfaller submission? Do we know? I don't know. Hey, Joe Lake, what's the score? Yeah, Joe Lake, what's the score? <laughs> one, it is one nothing. Now. Okay, but that is a long battle. I haven't been watching the whole match. It's been a great match though, from what I have seen. Yeah. And wow, Mary Fuller just picked up. It was not one nothing. It was one to one. Or wait a minute, did Mary Fuller? Fuller the what, 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 what did I see? Did it I may have been a knockout. Too, you know, maybe been a knockout than a pin. Knock out than a pin. Two two. Two two. Two one. Two to one. Yeah, I was gonna say, because I saw Roxanne Riley get a a fall, but I didn't see Mary Fuller, but apparently she had one as well, because that is now two to one. What the hell? And that said, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and your new TWA television champion from Team Here's Mr. Pink Gaming, it is Mary Fuller picking up the big W and going home with the TWA gold. Congratulations to Mr. Pink Gaming. Life says Roxanne, what the hell? Uh, DJ says, I must have missed that knockout then. Only the second championship to change hands today. Yeah, so far. Well, I'm guessing there was a knockout when she uh, did the finisher and then followed up with a pin, is what I'm guessing happened. Well, no, that's not... Isn't there three titles that changed hands? Because the Outlaws picked up the World Tag Titles, the Samoan Coalition picked up the World Tag Titles, and now Mary Fuller just picked up the TWA Television Championship. So that's three titles that have changed hands so far. I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, Stripe says, sorry, life. Our curse has not been working the last couple of matches. R random oh, there is four gamers boo says, eight ball, do I get love? We don't have eight ball. We do not have that here. I think we did it one time, but it got kind of repetitive and boring, so we just stopped doing it. That was a long time ago. All right, so now on to the championship rounds, the final three matches of the show. And, of course, it's been a 14-match thrill ride. We are not having a go-home happy match today. Fuck you all. Just saying ahead of time. <laughs> My wife is home. She just came and sat down. She's got a, this mask on her face. She looks so like that girl. Championships I always want to take hands. a picture and post it on Discord. Real, I know what <laughs> she says like, hello, I'm, I'm Mrs. Good. Archer. Uh, everybody says hello, Mrs. Archer. Hello. She says hello if you can't hear her. <laughs> Is it a good one? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to post it on Discord right now. Anybody that wants to see Mrs. Archer wearing a, a mask on her face. Check out the latest craze in and it, To be fair, it's not a Batgirl mask. It is uh, Purchase your coffee cup. an exfoliating mask. Right now. URL. Oh, it's for wrinkles. She apparently thinks she's wrinkly. Now, hey, Archer, you might want to, though, be careful, you know, making fun of her masks when... 
you might wake up and be penis face. That, that is true. Well, I, she calls me that every day. That is, I a, know. That is a daily thing. My penis face. See? <laughs> Anytime possible. All right, there we go. I, I posted the picture in No Holds Barred. Yeah, it should. You just got to go into Discord. All right, so I'll issue the payout for that match, if there is one. And there is. So there's just about 4,000 Archiverse bucks on the line. Mary Fuller was the new champion. And 3,920 Archiverse bucks goes to whoever chose Mary Fuller as their victor. And here we go. I'll get the betting line open for the next match. Who walks out television champion? Is it going to be Kyle Riley from Team Life is Great? Representing the Wolfpack Horseman. He is their rogue assassin. Never fully associates with and never denies being a part of. Just whoops ass. Takes names, cashes checks. Or is it going to be the reigning, defending, two-time television champion, Mick Marvel from Team Mick Marvel? Kyle. I have to vote on him. But he's a jerk. Lol. And I forget what this matchup is. I believe it is a lockdown match. Oh, it says lockdown uh, right that's there. That's what Never it mind. says. Yeah, yeah. It... So it is a lockdown match for the television championship. So I'll give you 10 minutes to make your bets, and I'll start the betting line right now. Incidentally, Glenola, who do you think takes this? Kyle Riley or Mick Marvel retaining? I'm going with Kyle Riley. You're going Kyle Riley on this one? Yep. What about you villains in the chat room? Who do you think's taking the matchup? Is it going to be Kyle Riley, or does Mick Marvel retain again and go home with the gold? What do you think? Get your bets in. Put your Archivers bucks where your mouth is. Don't be a bunch of pussies. Open up your big fat wallets. By the way, Glenola's streaming when we're done, so we're going to be raiding Glenola. Uh, I am. He, he's going to be streaming some uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. He's going no. to be hunting and shooting some shit. Me out. Not, Not Red, Red Dead. Dead. If, I, if, if I were, were to, to, I would just well, maybe it's going to be tonight. Maybe it's going to be Mech Warriors. Or a little Final Fantasy 15? Yeah, 15. 14, 15. Okay, that's what I thought. I always get the two confused, because there's two of them. <laughs> um... Froggy says, why games? What? What? What the fuck are you talking about, Willis? Well... Joeling says, so four championships changed hands. Oh, yeah, B. Jackson beat Alice. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. So either way, you're wrong, Joe. How dare you be wrong? You're supposed Look, to know this information so that when we left. don't, we can ask you. You There's don't know how it works around goal. here yet? You pay attention. We do not. We inquire to you... That which we do not know, and if you do not know that which we do not know, that is that is not cool. We take offense to that. I'm sure your boss doesn't. We, however, take offense to it. I've got money on Kyle. The world um, pack is doing great right now. Look, no literally one comment above that. Oh, okay, hold on. Andre Chase just tie me out. Or cracks. Either. Uh, it may be Kyle. I have to vote on him, but he's jerk. That I don't. Andre Chase just. I, I don't. The the one up, right above yours is Andre Chase just time me out for spamming eight ball. Well, I mean, I'm sure that could happen. I mean, nobody likes people spamming things. It is what it is. Froggy says, I've got money on Kyle. The Wolfpack is doing great. The Wolfpack is doing fantastic with exception to Alan Severn. Again, I didn't see the match, so I don't know how good it was. I, I assume it was a barn burner as usual, but what the hell? Random Gamers Boo just got timed out by Stream Elements. Must have mentioned AEW. Yep. yep. You can't say AEW around here. How dare you? If I can find my header. There we go. How dare you? All right. So anyways, 
Betting line is open. Get your bets in. It is showtime and go time for the first match in the championship round. It is for the Wrestle Wars Television Championship. Kyle Riley from Team Life is Great. Take it on. Marvelous McMarvel from Team McMarvel. Let's go. All right. Confused. So where were we? No, we were talking about uh, Ariana Andrews. Talking about how, how long it's been since they were doing the Funkadactyls gimmick and the Funkasaurus gimmick. Uh, basically, what she was saying is that she's not necessarily probably surprised that he's maybe hanging them up. I mean, I don't know how old the man is either. Actually, yeah, does somebody want to look that up? See how old Tyrus is, aka the Funkasaurus. Um, she did continue to say though. Uh, I feel like he's doing really good with what he's doing, been doing Fox and the whole nine, but you know, I I always say never say never because people who think you retire always end up that. somehow, some form, some fashion, their ass ends up back in the ring. You know, even though they're like, I'm I'm 90, but I'm back, it's just, I, I mean, it's always a comeback full circle. I mean, history is always repeating itself, so even when people say I'm retired, I'm like, are you really? And that's a fair statement, I mean, how many people, how many times has Ric Flair retired? Yeah, so but he's 50 years old. He's 50 years old? Okay, so I mean, he might be hanging up. Maybe he has uh, endeavors outside pro wrestling. Who knows? I, I actually don't know. I don't follow. T I, I enjoyed tires. Don't get me wrong. Funkasaurus. But I didn't. He, I mean, for me, he just wasn't intriguing enough to fall outside of the business. I mean, he ends up where he ends up. Uh, so Ariane Andrew wants to wrestle Trinity. And, of course, they were the Funkadactyls together. But So she says, I just spoke to her. Uh, what was it, a few days ago? I mean, that's always going to be my sister from another mister. I always say that. We have so much history together. But I'm, you know what, I, I'm just so proud of her right now because I feel like, you know, she's been waiting for this moment for so long. And I just appreciate that I feel like she's going to be able to do exactly how she wants to do it in her way. And it sucks that I feel like some people get opportunities, you know, where you're just like, oh, dang, that happened so quick. But what I'm learning in life is everything happens for a reason. You know, sometimes someone's success or the moment they're waiting for takes 20 years. For someone, it takes a year. And I feel like we... We all get so stuck in that comparison where it can seem like, damn, when am I ever going to get my own opportunity because I'm busting my ass over here doing all these things, but, like, where's the payoff? So, you know, I'm excited. I know in a million years uh, she maybe didn't think that she'd be, uh, that that would be the path, and maybe she thought it would be WWE, but sometimes, too, what I'm learning is when you walk away from something and you make yourself, like, you know, like where people are listening and seeing and people did that after that uh, that I want to be like hey so what am I proud of is they did not word this well anyways proud of is that she's going to create her name on her own terms and you never know the sky's the limit you never know maybe she sticks to that who knows I, it's like I feel like now the sky has no limits for her uh, to be perfectly fair though I think she probably ends up back in WWE at some point I mean, she is married to Jey Uso. I'm sure the door will be open at some well, point, especially with Endeavor taking one, over. Vince McMahon's not as much in the picture, so things wouldn't be the same right. anyways. And is she not an impact? Play, but I'd say the opposition is She's an impact, right? Good, uh, that I don't know. I'd have to check. I, I believe she is. Uh, anyways, on having a match with Trinity, she said, I'm hoping especially with, with me promotion and yeah, with me is. promotion. Nice. They really need to edit shit. I see it is fucking awful. Um, but anyways, and stuff like that, I feel like we're not in a place where we can kind of walk to the beat of our own drum subscribe. with doing things how we want to do it, uh, that there's an opportunity there. On a possible WWE return, Corey, she said, absolutely, I feel like when you go out venturing to go create a name for yourself, I, I get it when you make yourself valuable and people are uh, talking, then people have more interest, but... Yeah, I don't know. She added, who knows? You know, I, I still feel like there's a lot of unfinished business there. She also said that there is opportunity in other places, and she's happy that she can run her own promotion and walk to the beat of her own drum. Uh, Andrew said that she's excited about running her own promotion, and again, it's called Pound Town Wrestling. I got to tell you, that raises a whole lot of jokes. That... That, I mean, it just opened the door wide open for lots of jokes. Pound Town Wrestling. 
It Hello, makes you wonder where they're, they're going to stream it. Champion. Exactly. Where are they streaming that show? <laughs> live from the Playboy Mansion? Live, I don't on know. Porn live on Pornhub. Live on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy, but anyways. Good for her. Starting company. her own wrestling promotion. She's doing what she wants to do. That's all that matters, I guess, at that point. Um, but she also revealed that she totaled her car in an accident. That was random. And how they ended the article. What? How do you end an article like that? You go talking about Pound Town Wrestling. She's excited for the future. And then at the very end, that that is it. That is all. She also revealed that she told her car in an accident. Now, why this even? Why? Why? The what's the necessity to add that there? I don't know. That's kind of weird. You can feel it. Absolutely. Uh, we can easily see the title change hands here tonight. Oh, yeah. I forgot this was a lockdown a match. I'm like, what's going on here? They're in a rusted trap cell there. It is a lockdown match. Hooked up. All right. And what's going on with the betting lines here? Did you guys get your bets in? Ooh, what a nasty kick. Betting oh, lines, there's nice about a minute, five seconds left to make your bets Stop if you'd like to get a bet in. But anyways, that wraps it up for the Dirt Cheats. There is nothing else all that interesting or entertaining that we're going to want to discuss tonight. So I think for the final two and a half matches, we run through this top ten list. And yes, it does say top. It doesn't say ranked, but for Glenola and I, saying top is like saying ranked. And we do like to pick those apart, which is one of the reasons I chose it. But anyways, this is uh, an article from uh, Kelnow.com. And it is published by Akash Danagran. I probably butchered that. But let's face it, I don't care. At least I gave credit where credit is due. That's all that matters there. I, I know I said Acash, right? I knew I had a friend named Acash, so I, I know that one is correct. But not sure. It's either Danagran, Danagaran, or something of that sort. We're just going to call him Acash. How about that? Uh, it's the top 10 WWE superstars with the most pay per view matches in history. So hopefully they did their homework well. So WWE is the largest wrestling promotion in the world that produced some of the great shows. The weekly shows such as Raw and SmackDown develop the feuds and storylines for the pay-per-views. Two episodes uh, build the feuds and storylines. Pay-per-views determine the winners and results of the feuds. Here are the top 10 WWE superstars with the most pay-per-view matches in history. So number 10, Kofi Kingston. And listen to this. This is actually fairly impressive. 121 pay-per-views. So Kofi Kingston stands 10th in the list with a total of 121 pay-per-view matches. Kofi's been wrestling for WWE since 2007 and has been consistent in delivering some of the great in-ring skills, storylines, feuds, and good connections with fans, which makes him booked into most of the pay-per-views. Most of his matches and pay-per-views are championship matches and pursuits for the championships. He's still an active wrestler, and the numbers may increase in the future. Number nine is The Miz, and he's sitting at 132 pay-per-views. That's crazy when you think about it, you know? 132 pay-per-views. So The Miz stands ninth on the list with a total of 132 pay-per-view matches. The Miz has been in WWE since 2006, so he's coming up on his 20-year anniversary as well in the next couple of years. Very cool. Uh, not to mention, nobody expected him to make it. Right? Because he, he was just a guy. He had no combat sports background. He had, had no sporting background, period, I don't think. And oh, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. That is all. The winner of the lockdown match, and still and your reigning, uh, defending, undisputed TWA television champion from Team McMarvel, Marvelous McMarvel, your victor and still champion. Congratulations to McMarvel. Man, he is a beast with that belt. An absolute beast with that belt. Who is going to take that title from him? That is what I want to know. All right, so I'll issue the payout for that. That match went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. i got to be quite honest. Uh, okay, the winner of the match was Mick Marvel. 5,756 Archiverse bucks on the line. Champions from each respective Here we go. Simply type. Payout has been issued. TWA skipping the rest. All right, so let me finish Jordan that before we jump Marvel. into the next match. 
five X combo. Um, so since then, he's one of the greatest heels and entertaining wrestlers of the company. His consistency, charismatic looks, charismatic looks. Hell yeah, anyway, Joe. I won't touch base on that. Do you want to? I'm not going to. I'm just going to let that one slide like it didn't happen. Didn't happen. I, I Don't get me wrong. I like The Miz for a multitude of reasons. I also don't like The Miz for a multitude of reasons. It's a love-hate relationship. Cons charismatic yeah, looks? What? I, 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 you know, I, it's been no secret. I've never been a Miz fan. No, you haven't. Well, I mean, a lot, I, you know what? To be fair, yeah, a lot of people he, weren't. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I, I don't take anything away from what he's accomplished. Yeah. But I was never a fan. Uh, he did not have the look. I don't think so either. That's why I thought it's funny. They said charismatic yeah, no. look. Yeah, he got himself into good shape. But again, you're talking about a guy that was never, he was never an amateur wrestler, a boxer, martial artist, nothing. He was simply a guy that was a huge fan of WWE and a huge fan of pro wrestling. <laughs> he got onto the show, didn't even win it. But out of the out of the people on that show, to be fair, he was the better contender. He probably should have won it, but did not. Uh, but he's also gone on to have an 18-year career. You know, there is a reason he's there for that, but to tell me he's got charismatic looks, I mean, there's a reason he's only been champion twice. Pretty sure charismatic looks isn't the reason for that, right? No, he's been consistent, yes. He's put people over. He's a good character to have around. I think he's had a lot more, maybe, in my opinion only, he might have had a little bit more su success than he deserves, to be fair. But good for him at the same time. Um, but anyways, his way of selling feuds, moves, makes him one of the undeniable wrestlers in the company, leading to the most pay-per-view matches. Since The Miz is an active wrestler in the company, the numbers and positions may vary in the future. Uh, number eight on the list is Big Show at 142 pay-per-views. We'll get to that next, but let me issue the payout. Actually, did I already do that? Yeah. Uh, I may have. I'll I be back. Know. i got to use the facilities. How dare you, sir? You've not heard it depends. A All right, so I already issued the payout for that. we got to get ready for the next matchup, get the betting line open for that. Again, congratulations to Mick Marvel and, of course, the marvelous Mick Marvel. Here we go, co-main event of the evening. This is a triple threat elimination matchup for the Drop TWA the Women's World Front Championship. And look at the, the villainy in this matchup. You, of course, have Akira Blade. She was the Women's right Junior World Champion. She is cashing movies. in tonight from Team Sir oh. Jack the Greatest. <laughs> Two Akira's left, the coldest bitch on the planet. She's the only, and probably for the foreseeable future, if not ever, sex tuplet champion in TWA history. Between her and, of course, her partner in crime from Team Honeybee Wrestling, B. Jackson, they held every single women's championship in TWA and YTD. A phenomenal duo is Winter Swarm. But tonight, January's cashing in. She, of course, won the Gauntlet Rumble and inserted herself into this matchup. She's looking to throw a monkey wrench into Akira Blade's plans. But that is the next match of the evening. Team Infinite Oni, Team Sir Jack the Greatest. He, he's got two ladies in this contest because, of course... The reigning defending undisputed world champion Kaiva Blade also from the Blade Runners and Team Sir Jack the Greatest putting her title on the line against those savage beasts of women. It's going to be a very interesting matchup. But who do you guys think walks out the women's world champion? Is it going to be January from Team Infinite Oni? Akira Blade from Team Sir Jack the Greatest and the up until tonight, she was the junior women's world champion. Or the reigning defending women's world champion, Kaiva Blade. Also from Team Sir Jack the Greatest, and again representing the Blade Runners. Of course, Akira Blade represents the Toxic Outlaws. Managed by Team Joe Link. I'll give you 10 minutes to make your bets as always. It is, after all, triple threat elimination matchup. There will be time. And there you go. Betting lines are open. Get your bets in, and here we go. Co-main event of the evening. And I'd ask Lenol who he thinks is going to win the match, but he is using the facilities. Who do you guys think is going to win this match? Joel Link, what do you think? Is it going to be January, Just got cold Akira, or Kaiba Blade? Froggy, what about you? 
Life Raka. I just got home from work. Feel sorry for me, please. I accept both. What? I accept both back and butt rubs. Nice. You must be related to my wife. I think you're from different countries, but I mean, that is her to a T. She loves her back rubs, loves her butt rubs. And to be fair, I do enjoy issuing them. So it works out well for me. I'm not one of those guys that's too lazy to massage my wife. I mean, think about that for a second. Oh. Your wife, vulnerable on the bed, wanting a back massage. You say no, that just sets yourself up for future failure. She wants me to rub her foot right now. See what I've done? I should really learn to keep my mouth shut at times. But honestly, if you have a choice between pleasuring your woman or not pleasuring your woman and for any reason nonsensical by the way you decide not to do that the you deserve the couch and anything else she issues out to you you gonna wait till i'm done okay apparently she's gonna wait till i'm finished leo the king welcome in <laughs> welcome in the public enemy is not here you are leo the king you are not multiple people I, well i mean you could be in your mind i don't know do you have multiple personalities will remain strong by our i mean if you do you fit right in with all these fucking villains i'm pretty sure they all have multiple personalities bipolar disorder and everything else we have a bunch of lunatics in here but anyways welcome in leo the king appreciate you stopping in episode number 519 tonight leo the king twa revolution and man what a thrill ride it's been we're just pushing the four hour mark <laughs> How many championships is that that's changed hands now? Did we say, is that, is that the fifth one? Nah, just depression and anxiety I'm going back here. here. Laughing. I know Joe Link said, or somebody said something. Four championships changed hands. I think we decided that was five. Oh, no, that was four because of B. Jackson. So now it is, it is five, right? Oh, no, it's not. Never mind, because Mick Marvel defended the title. Forget it. Feels called out. Unless Kaiva Blade loses... Because that would be a fifth change. championship changing hands. The All right, so we got that figured out. For a chance to win a All right, here we go. You guys have... Let's see. You guys have seven minutes and five seconds left to get your bets in. Right now, there's 4,266 Archivers Bucks in the pool. So get your bets in and get a slice of the pie. But here we go. Co-main event of the evening. Akira Blade, former Women's Junior World Champion, January winner of the Gauntlet Style Rumble match. And of course, the reigning defending champion, Akira Blade, Wrestle Wars Women's World Championship. Elimination, falls count anywhere. Let's rock and roll. Welcome back, Glenola. Play. Thank you, thank you. Leo D. Thank you, thank you. I a couple snacks. I just realized my What are you snacking on? was empty. I got myself a couple of Lay's barbecue chips. Lay's barbecue chips. Those are delicious. Are they the old fashioned barbecue? Or are they the. Because there's two different kinds. I think it's just the regular. I forget what the other barbecue is called, but they actually have one called old fashioned, at least here anyway. Yeah. I don't know if they do that. This is the original. Yeah, just the Lay's. Yeah, so the old fashioned barbecue. They're the best, anyways. They taste the best. <laughs> but they do taste the best. And then I made a bowl of uh, shredded cheddar. You know, that's Alan Severn and January. The insubordinate motherfuckers. They all know that when you cash in your title to challenge the champion, you relinquish your belts. But no, no. Not Alan Severn. Not the Wolfman. No, no. And not the coldest bitch on the planet, January. They keep their titles the just to show off a little. A How dare they? <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> But how cool is it? I gotta brag again, because Archer now, 15 championship title defenses and 16 legends in a row he has ran through. I gotta tell you, I'm excited about that, because we all know Archer's history with championships. Well, and I were talking about it earlier, this is probably a one and done for him. I, I would doubt he ever repeats something like this, but you never know. Uh, but yeah, so he's gone through 16 legends, and this is his, that was his 15th title defense. He's making history in the legends division. But it'd be interesting to see if either Alan Severn's record at 11 championship defenses or Archer's record are ever touched, because both of those are ginormous and monumental. So. Uh, 4 minutes 45 seconds to get your bets in. Still lots of time. Alright, so I am going to use the facilities myself now. And, uh, wait a minute. 
swear jar. For, for not noticing it, did I? When the hell oh, yeah, were the hockey sticks? The H-E double hockey, I didn't finish it. I did not finish it. Don't you be laughing. I said, I started to say it and then I finished with double hockey sticks. H-E double hockey sticks. Uh, did I say anything after he dropped that? Because I don't know how long that's been sitting there. Archer. You Blame it on Ethan Nucky. is now in the chat. Welcome in. What's new and exciting, Nucky. Ethan? Nucky. Appreciate you stopping by. Nucky. Welcome to episode number 519, TWA Revolution. This is our big Under SPV of the fall for 2023. Place, not we got a lot of excitement coming next, though. We've got the Joe Link Appreciation Nothing Night to much. schedule. We have to get the next uh, TAV Hall of Legends show on the go. And, of course, our third annual Halloween Havoc will be at the end of October. So we've got a lot of excitement going on. And then from there, it's heading directly to the third annual Archiverse Slammiversary, uh, which is going to be one hell of a banger. So much has happened over the course of the last year. So God knows what's going to happen at Slammiversary this year. It's going to be exciting, though. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. That'll be, the, of course, two weeks before so the Christmas the holidays, weekend. just like last Together year. We will grow the first year we did it, we talked about it. The first year we did it, we did it in between Christmas and New Year's, and that was a terrible time. We did well, but not as well as the second the annual, and not as well as we're going to do at the third annual. On he connotation of use. So, we're, we're going to keep it at the same date, the or around the same date and time frame as it was last year for the third annual Archiver Slam anniversary. And by the way, Joe Link, that means... Not only do I need a logo for the third annual Halloween Havoc, I need one for the third annual TWA Slammiversary show as well. That's strength. not till December, though, sir, so don't uh, don't stress out over that. Uh, but anyways, I'll be right back. And in and the meantime, the Mr. Glenola, the Blade Runners from Bismarck, North Dakota. You're going to tell two Johnny jokes just because I know you love them so much. Wrestling champion. I was just, Quality you know, hero, I'm just Kaima thinking of you. I don't want you to be bored. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match. Uh, blame it on a Ethan. Opportunity for the champ to prove and to everyone. I mean, is he in our chat because he's here visiting, or is he streaming? Right Can you check that out while I'm gone? I'll be right back. Because that's that's who originally they changed. It. Oh wait a minute, no, they said Jake. Wasn't it Jake TV? They changed it to. And I don't even know if the they're live time. either. I mean, uh, we, still, we still have this match in the main event anyway, so I don't know if they're live, but. Uh, if you want to check into that, I'll be right back. Hey, random. Archer has three minutes left of the swear jar. No. There are. And guys, what a thrill it must be for these superstars to compete here on Thanksgiving. You said they are? Okay. considering what this day has meant to this industry over the years. For decades, Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment. And that tradition continues here tonight. Doing this swear jar on easy mode. Blame a Tony and I can't he wait for a Sunday for Axe. <laughs> Discord. One day little Johnny's father their farted. Axel. So Johnny asked his father, Discord. what was that? That's his advice. Son, that's his north wind. We go to school the next day and teach her ass in class. Who knows the direction of the north wind? Little Johnny chuck. My dad's ass! Discord. Archer's Army welcomes you to join us on the Archerverse Discord to either promote your content or just to chat and have a great skipping the rest. Uh, YouTube. TAB on YouTube, URL. Good. <laughs> Glenn. Lol. Town. We utilize the game engine to create custom shows, belts, we have 1, 2, 3 streamers that have wrestlers progressing throughout a skipping the rest. Skipping some comments. The Archerverse goes back over a decade to die. That's a blessing you When Elijah Archer started his career on Newfield Wrestling Forums Club. Lol. Skipping some comments. 5x combo. No shadows. There's the bell and this falls count anywhere matches now we're away. No way of knowing where these superstars could end up taking this fight. Together we will grow strong in our communities. We'll remain strong by our constant support for one another's endeavors. This match will be pretty interesting. Check out the latest phrase in TWA. Purchase your coffee cup. TWA Cup right now. 
Oh, oh, man. Skipping the rest. Swirly Shadow Swanson. Echo Random Games Pit. Echo Random slam. Games Pit. There we go. Nice sit out power bomb. Jolin has arrived. A Acknowledge has me. A new level when I have come in peace to watch the very zone. best in fantasy wrestling excellence with the, the army of Elon. Skipping the rest. How did January end up here? Emoji thinking face. Hi, Billy Jerry. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Come on, Jolin. Let's go. 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 I don't you know Sayat Pegasus she oh, has the junior it. championship so I am right, guessing the best time. What up random? Oh, Stop. Stop it away. January more like December. Incoming! Hard shot to- uh oh. She flips it back on her! Virtue Versavo, just making sure it was under legitimate reasons. Knife edge! Shut up! Shut up! Just lighten up the No. Uh oh! End of days! Incredible! The title might change hands! Two count! Oh, kicks out! Kicks out! We knew Ray. it was not going no to be. No one disrespects January. One, two, three, one, Gorilla Jerry, right your numbers are like four. Three, four. Good luck, one, two, three, that one, Gorilla Jerry, skipping the rest. Play. Blame it on Ethan, your numbers are four. Nine, one. Good luck, blame it on Ethan. There are some amazing and fun channel rewards to choose from if you are. Yeah, she came so out wearing it for way. some reason, Sonic Cat Raiders. I made my first promotions, one is called Glacial Wrestling and another one is called Fireball and I am gonna need a Survivor Series win for. Blame it for Ethan except when she has in a blade affair. Sir Jack the greatest, oh yeah. Oh that torturing Jolene pulls out the flamethrower. Just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow! Oof! Oh. Trying to find a good one here. Uh, it's shadows, it's your numbers game. are four. One, five. Good luck at Shadows. There are some amazing and fun channel rewards to choose from if you are the chose. Play. Random games for your numbers are seven, eight, one. Good luck, random games but There are some amazing and fun channel rewards to choose from if you are. Superstar. Today, Frog Hammock likes his Xavier Woods. Any chance nice. the table will be set up for a lovely spread? Uh, never mind, that never happens. Super Sonic. Like Today, oh. Random Games goes Jimmy Wilson. I don't know what that was, but it looked like it hurt. Oh, no, no, no. Superstar. Today, 1, 2, 3, 1, Gorilla Jill is Otis. Can you guys believe the power? Here's a cover. Could be it. She pops the shoulder up in one. I'm happy she did. I don't Superstar. want this match to end. Double underhook, butterfly applied. Beautiful suplex, but not done yet. Still going. Another one. Going for a trifecta. Absolutely incredible. Superstar. It's been an hellacious encounter this far. Today, the time to swing in multiple. I have returned. All right. Welcome uh, back. I'm still trying to find a good one for the second redeem. Oh, you're trying to find one for the second redeem? Okay, no worries. Uh, now, who was it? Was it Random Booze that actually... No, who was it that wanted us to raid Jake TV? Uh, Random Games Boat. It was Random Games Yeah, and he said, uh, when... After leaving, he said he still is. He's still alive. So. He is. He's actually rocking it out pretty good with a good audience. Now, the only thing is, when we invade people, we like to invade people that can use the boost. Use the support. But as it is, it was redeemed, so I guess what do you do? Um, so nobody's been eliminated yet, I see. I haven't really been paying attention to the match itself, though. The beginning, yes. The middle, no. So I don't know really what's going on. How's the match been playing out so far? Uh, to be honest, I haven't been paying that close attention. Okay, gotcha. 
Um, the chance. Well, he just stopped so well as to come in. Double Otis trip. What the fuck? Why are we talking about double and triple Otis? What did I miss? What did I miss? Today, random game who is Jimmy Uso? I have no girly girl. You didn't see girly girl. Come in. How you doing, girly girl? What's Soul up to? Is he sleeping in his chair? Or is he live? He's probably live. I don't think the man ever stops streaming. He probably streams from work. Joe Link mods for the Archiverse at work. Soul Ember's probably games at work. Today, Froggy Moth Legs is Xavier Woods. I don't think I've even done that yet today, actually. Let's find out who I am. Superstar. Rick Flair. Today, yeah. The Dirtiest Rick player in the game. So I'll take it. I will take it. Thanks for sharing that girly girl over all. I don't think I've done... Did I do the jackpot yet? No, I didn't. 861, unlucky. And 467, unlucky. So, Glenola, so far, you're the only one that has come close with your 047, which puts you up to 31 points away from the YTD Champions Board. Nobody else has come close. Everybody else has got high numbers. So it looks like Glenola might be the only victor of a jackpot tonight. Give him time, he might win the second one too. Or did you already play twice? Zero, zero, one. Ooh. Well, that, that put me out a little running. That, so Raka, you are now in the lead to win the championship redemption. It is a YTD Academy championship redemption. You can challenge for any YTD title of your choosing should you win. You are only 15 points away. No, what's the number? Is it 016? Something like that. Yeah, 016. 016. So you're only 15 points away. Oh, now, now it pops up. Nice. Good old stream elements. I'm very greedy. I'm very greedy, Rocket said. Rocket, did you know that you had a match tonight? Earlier tonight, you had a match. Briar Rose was in a matchup. And a hell of a match it was, by the way. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You're probably gonna want to go back. Yeah, you're gonna want to go back and watch that match, Rocket. Briar Rose put her title on the line tonight. Strife says was great. It was great. You're at work forever. Busy night. No uh, for my redemption, actually, Raid, you keep changing your target. Can we okay. look up? Can we look up Con Man 167, please? Yeah, just take me a minute here. A long way up. Because I have never heard of that channel, so I don't know what they're doing. I don't either. Is this the stop for messing with us again? Because I, I do like to take people places they're going to be entertained. Redeem or not, if they're not going to be entertained, I don't want to take them there. It just loses the vibes. Especially if we don't know them. Especially if we don't know them. But anyways. Okay, it is another universe. Another universe, okay. And what, what are they doing right now? How are they doing? Um, it's still loading. Oh, okay. Yeah, my computer's slow, you know that. I think January just got eliminated. January is gone. It is down to the sisters. And I'm in ads at the moment. Wow, it's down to the Blade sisters. Akira and Kaiva battling it out for the world championship. Sir Jack, what do you think of that? Infinite Oni won't be too happy about that shit. I meant down. January. I meant Dan, he says. January got eliminated. She did. She is Gonski. History. Blame men like us. 
Blame it on Ethan says, blame me, I guess. Well, your name is Blame It on Ethan, so why would we not? She's getting something from under the ring. I see you pee because I HOP. What? He's stole that from Blame It On Bill. Oh, he's talking to Blame It On Ethan. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Stripe says, this is awesome. Kaiba Blade with a pinfall attempt here. I hear it kicks out, though. Got that shoulder up. I love Billy. Uh, Blame It On Ethan says, yes, I did. I love Billy. This just might be more than what the champ wanted. I see you pee because I ate it. You ate what? She avoids the attack completely. Random games gamers moves very strange. Clearly she's ready to take a swing. Nice bit. Yeah, because just having watched a minute or two. I kinda like the guy's energy. Excellent. He hasn't started the matches or anything like that yet. But he's just talking though. It's a, you know, you buy, you see, for you, by you. For you, by you. He's the booker. You, you convince him to book your matches. You know, you've got the overall pen, but I, just from what I saw, I like it. So it's Con Man 167. Yes. I do not like the I'll get that right. He's just starting out. He's only, what, seven and a half minutes in? Eight minutes in. So. All right, very cool. Okay, so we're going to be raiding Con Man 167. It's another universe mode. Somebody else that we, we've never been there before, but they're putting on a wrestling show of their own, so we're going to go and support them and spread the vibes. Make sure everybody sticks around for the invasion after the final match of the evening, which is next, of course, the main event of the night. If you do not, we are going to hunt you down and ban you from the Archiverse TV. So there's that. We're all part of a community together. Let's act like we're part of a community. We're going to invade the channel together. Do not leave. And by the way, a couple people did leave already, so let's hunt them down and ban them. We will hunt them down and ban them, whoever in the left. And another person left, so make sure we ban them as well. Actually, that might be because Random got to AKO'd for 30 seconds. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is all. The winner of the triple threat elimination matchup and still TWA women's world champion from team Sir Jack the Greatest, Kaiva Blade, representing the Blade Runners is still your reigning, defending, and undisputed world champion. Congratulations, Jack. And congratulations to Kaiva Blade and the Blade Runners. All right. Oh, a couple people came back, so we now we just got to hunt down the, the two. There's two people. There was We had 19 villains. We now have 17. So two of them still want to get banned. we got to figure out who they are. Ah, oh, Redeem, YTD Academy, mid-card championship up. And why does everybody keep asking what a mid-card championship is? Y'all not wrestling fans? You don't understand how mid-card works? You know, mid-card's like a TV title, like a tag team championship. They're always considered mid-card titles. The only... Uh, main event championships have always been the world championships. I'm not oh, sure like the Wolfman treated it as an opening match. I mean, it, yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> the Wolfman did. He, he, I'm, which, I'm trying to remember if that was the Archiverse 2.0, but yeah, the Wolfman Three. actually requested um, that he be the opening match of the night for the world title. <laughs> I forget who he defended it against. Um, I'm trying to think. I, don't know. I remember the match. Three, I'm trying to... I know 3.0 that he did that. He had the started off with a world championship match for WCW. I want to say it was Christian Hart. I, it might have been. I think it was Christian Hart that you defended against in the opening match of the evening for the world title. And everybody was like, what? World title at the beginning of the show? <laughs> Blame Severed. I had nothing to do with that. All right, so I'll issue the payout for that. Give me a second. That was shortly after uh, the buyout. <laughs> yes, it was. That's correct. Yep. All right, so the winner of the match was Kaiva Blade. 
4,596 Archivers bucks being distributed. And there we go. I'll get the betting line open for the main event of TWA Revolution. By the way, what did you guys think of TWA Revolution? The arena, the logos, the matches. To me, it was absolute fire, a thrill ride of a night. But I don't speak for everybody. And we can, again, we can thank Joe Link for some of the new logos that make TWA Revolution look so sexy and fine. Jack, you asshole. Emoji. One of the multitude of reasons we're going to have a Joe Link appreciation night, of course. And you can't squirm out uh, of that, Joe Link. Glenola and I have already made, you know, so it shall be written, so it shall be done. Although we didn't write anything. Maybe we should write that down somewhere, because then we can, like, follow through with that line. All right. Here we go. On to the main event of the evening. Great it show. is an iron to Our submission gold triple threat matchup. And of course, Johnny Braddock was the winner of the men's gauntlet style rumble matchup, it, yeah. which entered him in as a third wheel, if you will, to this matchup between JC, former television champion, world champion, Grand Prix champion, pure wrestling champion. He was looking to take on Reese the Voice Williams 1v1, but Johnny Braddock from Team the Turp Man spoiled that game plan. So up next, again, it is submission to Iron Gold for the Wrestle Wars World Wrestling Championship. JC from Team Sir Jack the Greatest. Johnny Braddock, the Terror from Team the Turret Man. And of course, the voice, Reese Williams from Team 3, TV Reese. That is next. Let me get the betting line open for that. Sir Jack the Greatest True. So who walks out world champion? I know that for a while. Or Wooler. By the Champion. way, blame Atone if and I have the record for saying dot you in a stream. There we go. Who walks out world champion? Is it going to be JC? It very rare the hold public enemy all here at once. Johnny Braddock. JC. Or the reigning defending champion. And he's actually reigning defending an undisputed F champion. F he has F defended F the F championship F twice. <laughs> Who is the public enemy? Reese the Voice Williams. Uh, I, gotta I gotta go with Reese Williams, Williams on this one. Not, you, know. you going with Reese? Just from history. L I'm going to give everybody 15 minutes to make your bets this time because it'll be at least a 15 minute matchup anyway. So we'll start the betting lines right now. Get your bets in. It's the last match of the night. And then, of course, we're going to be invading has won most of the matches Con Man 167, who is currently just about to get their own show on the go. So we want to show the loves, uh, lend some support to their channel. And who knows, we may end up with some new community members as we intermingle with another community doing their own wrestling show. That's the way it usually works. Uh, Strife says JC has won most of the matches against Humboldt. I fucking hate it. Well, he's not facing Humboldt tonight, to be fair. Uh, Strife, he's facing Johnny Braddock and Reese the Voice Williams. Uh, Joe Link says AEW AEW. That's not funny, Joe Link. You're a mod. You can do that. And Random Gamers Boo keeps getting timed out by Stream Elements. Jay, I'm assuming they're spamming AEW. Yep. yep. Uh, Jack says, if you see JC's moveset, you'd be like, how? JC has a very shitty move set. Well, that said, he's done very well. Multiple time champion, tag team champion. I mean, you can't you can't argue the man's talent. I have the record. Look at the look at the betting line. It says hoo hoo. Uh -huh, hoo hoo. Just about to... hoo -hoo. Actually, I, I saw fuck. that in my first house. Hoo hoo are you? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. It's the final match of the night. And then, of course, we'll see each other for sure uh, Friday night around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Fallout show. Wrestle Wars Genesis is going to be a thrill ride of a night of itself. Fallout shows are always absolutely fire, so you don't want to miss that. And, of course, over the next couple days, we're going to figure out exactly when we're going to have episode number 32 for YTD Live, Clash of the Titans. And it'll be a Fallout show as well. I don't know if that's going to be. It's potential that it could happen. Uh, tomorrow night. We'll see. I don't know what's happening. I'll have to see what's going on. Possibly. But Wrestle Wars Genesis Friday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When we have our fallout show from tonight's TWA Revolution. And man, what a show it's been. A fantastic stream preview as we expected and hoped it would be. 14 matches of pure fire. 
It's been an entertaining evening. As far as the community chat goes, you guys have been a fucking bunch of villains tonight. For real. Uh, but I do appreciate the gift subs. Uh, of course, we had one for Golanola. Who else got a gift sub tonight? A few people got gift got. subs, so I pre appreciate the, the subs. The public enemy versus wolf pack. And uh, Little King says, the public enemy versus the wolf pack. Blue shit. MOGI's well, I mean, life is back. I, I don't think that's happening tonight. I, I don't think it's happening. I don't know. I mean, did you redeem that? Either way, there's no redemptions tonight. There are no redemptions. I think three people, by the way, have also redeemed uh, World Championship singles match. So, the Re Reese the Voice Williams is going to be a very busy man over the next little while, no matter what happens here tonight. Don't Unless he loses, then either JC or Johnny Braddock are going to be very busy. Because there is at least that I can think of three, maybe four redemptions for World Championship singles matches. Like so... Shit. It's going to be interesting. Well, in that case, you can do a fail. Yeah. If there's, there's been, been three of them and Reese loses, loses, you can do a fatal five eliminator. His well, rematch plus, plus the, the others. others. Well, no, because they're championship singles matches. Emoji rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> I, I, I specifically made a singles <laughs> match <laughs> just because that's a lot of Archivers bucks. It's 20,000 Archivers bucks to redeem that. Uh -huh. So I made, I made it so that it was absolutely a singles match. But here we go. Main event of the evening, Wrestle World's World Championship on the line. Reese the Voice Williams defending against the terror, Johnny Braddock, and JC. Let's go. And well, Johnny's in his math lesson one day. The teacher asks him a question to see if he's paying attention. If I gave you a hundred dollars, she began, you gave fifty to Mary and fifty to Sally, what would you have? I thought about this and just a she hell of a weekend threesome. Follow the archer verse there as well. You good job. <laughs> the following contest is a you picked some good ones tonight, bro. I must say, you picked some good ones. The world I mean, not that you don't normally, but I, like we've always talked about Johnny jokes specifically. The Even the ones that aren't great are still fucking funny. From Chicago, yeah. Illinois, yeah. weighing so, in at 255 pounds. The terror, I believe Vinny she fell asleep because she has not said a word. So she calls uh, Mel and I, or Mrs. Archer and I, all the time just to fall asleep with us on the phone. That's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> it is, yeah. All right, so we had five people leave before we invaded the next channel, so hunt them down and ban them. But she misses... Yeah, she misses, she misses, misses Mrs. Archer. Archer. And you. That is she does, <laughs> yeah. Representing the coalition from Columbus, Georgia. Five different people left before we invaded. Hunt them down, pounds. Joe Link, J and C. ban them. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone. Uh, L.A. Knight, yeah, in the chat room. What's going on, L.A. Knight? Thanks for stopping by. You just made it in time for the main event of the evening. Random says who? Blame who? Whoever Dex. left. We're going to ban them all. To set up a match we like to do Jay that. Froggy says, Joe Link want to set up a match with Jay versus Dex. If Jay belts. wins, Phenomenal Soul Keep gets another shot at those belts. I hope Interesting. Their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. You know what, um, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything else in the chat room. You don't believe me. Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. Leo King says it's very rare the public enemy is all here at once. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. And introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 257 pounds. Froggy he says, hell yeah. The world wrestling champion, Reese. To, to your response, Joe. Do so you guys all have to put that in the redeem bully. section. Good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. You'll have to put that in the redeem section. Random says, you suck booty hole. Let me take this opportunity to say That's an interesting comment. You realize, Random, tonight. when people get uh, say, AKO'd and, and banned for less. Commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up 
is going to give Red me a little boost. Not necessarily, necessarily always me have to worry about you got to worry about those rabid wolves in the community. If they get bored of your verbiage, they will simply ban you. TWA. WCW. Sometimes things are entertaining, and other times things are just, well, you know, we're not five here. We are not five. Jay Simmons versus Lobo Dex. Our Redeemed Dark Match. Jay Simmons versus Lobo Dex for the opportunity to challenge for the world tag titles. Nice. Well, actually, be the YTD tag titles, I guess. Sorry. I misspoke there. Yeah, so just make sure you put that in the redemption section. It's a submission match. That means the only way to win the match All is right, to make so your opponent minutes. submit. All right, so 15 minutes. You have to target a submission to Iron Gold. Point. Yeah, you got to be incredibly focused and on then that'll be, it, part. that will be all to target that body part so that for 519 episodes. If you have an injury already, and of course, TWA Revolution. 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 Fantastic show. Very pleased with how the SPV turned out. It's always a great show, though, Archer. I mean, it is, yes. But stream previews specifically are always a lot of fun, and we always try to we always try to top the last one, etc. Which we do. There's a reason we are the very best in fantasy wrestling excellence, bar none. Period. Instance of teamwork here, but how long is it going to right. last? So, anyways, you said you were going with Reese the Voice Williams on this little yeah, one. Yeah. All right, and I don't know if anybody else has started betting it or not. That Looks like there's the 3,516 Archivers bucks in the pool, the and you guys have six lost. minutes yeah, left to get your bets in. Intimidation factor. It does, but it really shouldn't. Sometimes the falls add up, but let's not forget the very first. You still have time to get those bad ends. That's it. Let's see what that's happening in our day. Chase has changed. I will be back in a minute. Before the fist drops on your face. So Grand Prix is any time of my choosing. Sir Jack says so Grand Prix is any time of my choosing. Brandon James Blair thanks for the warning. Um, what? They are fading off the WWE fans now, pinning the arm down and oh, stop right to the hand. You gotta wonder if there's more. Uh, what do you mean by that? Match than we previously thought. Look at this power slam. Life says, dare I ask who Andre Chase He's is? Got something coming. I mean, oh, you can dare. Whether or not you get answered, I don't know. Redemption says if redeemed, we can the redemption says if redeemed can season. challenge at any time. Oh yes. Okay. You can. Except for tonight. There are no redemptions during a stream preview. So technically speaking, not any time of your choosing. Any time of your choosing leading up to a stream preview. Jack says, do you not love me? I don't love you enough to let you cash in on that tonight, no. 14 match epic. We are not having a go home happy match tonight. It is not happening. Instead, we're going to invade another channel. That is the plan. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And Glenola already checked out the channel and says it's Fairly interesting over there. We need to check it out. That greatest love is a strong word. Dot dot. But I really, really, really like you. I was sending him to explain to first people me that it's. Eleven minutes, twenty-five seconds remaining. I don't think there's been any pinfalls or submissions yet. Joe Link will correct us if I'm wrong. Anyway. Uh, I was sending Amber Extreme to face B for me, but it can win. You're right, it can. I personally don't believe in love anymore, so I use it freely. Oh, that's a sad story, Jack. That is a sad story, sir. Uh, Strife says, fair. 
Random says, why? That's a good question, Jack. Why do you not believe in love? I mean, it's not like love is a theory. I mean, it is something, in fact, that does exist. And can happen. Does happen. So, yeah, why? Why do you not believe in it? I'm going to guess sour about past dealings. Yeah, see, Random wants to know too. We all want to know now. You got to answer that question. He was waiting for him to make his move. You must answer the question. Just one step ahead. Le question. Off the ropes. Uh... Of course, it might take him a while to answer that, depending on how fast the man types. If he's a two-finger typer, that could be a... I mean, we might be invading by then. Actually, you'd be surprised how fast a uh, two-finger typer could be. That's true. I, uh, the guy with the college with, it, he was so large, he couldn't type normally. He had to use two fingers. Otherwise, he'd hit three keys at once. Uh, Life is great says, As... if someone like myself believes in it, I think there's hope for you, Jack. There you go, Jack. There's still hope for you. But he, uh, he typed 55 words a minute. <laughs> he says, would you look at the time? There's no time to answer questions. I mean, you got eight minutes and 53 seconds. Eight minutes and 53 seconds. Well, less than that now. But you have time. Does anybody else want to know the answer to why Jack does not believe in love anymore? I mean, I think we all want to know. Strife casts a dark dispel on Sir Jack. Uh... Yeah, now we know why his name is Random Gamers Boot. Some of the shit that's been, been typed in the chat tonight, you'd almost think he's related to these nuts. To be fair. But anyways. Speaking of these nuts, he tried to sneak into Dog's channel today under a different alias. Of course, he still used, you know, these nuts as part of the uh, username. So, in, of course, Infinite Oni was very quick to catch that. Banned him out of... Dog's channel and then came over to the Archiverse and banned the username here as well so that he couldn't sneak in here. Because he's just far too annoying. Far too annoying. Nobody we don't we do not need him as part of the community. Fun is fun and funny is funny, but annoyance is simply annoying. That's all there is to say about that. All right, so, uh, Joe Link, what's the score here? We're talking away. We do know there's a match going on, but we're not paying attention. Not full attention, anyways. What is the score? Is there any pinfalls or submissions? TKOs, KOs, what are we missing here? Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Um, yeah. Blame it on Ethan, you might get banned. Yeah. What? I mean, did Blame it on Ethan even say anything recently? I don't think so. I don't know either. Uh, just get a little different mood. Johnny asked your mom, Mom, can I get a dog at Christmas, please? Mom looks, his mom looks at him. No, you're going to get turkey just like every year. Wow. Why would I get banned on love here? Oh, man. Um, hey, shadows. That was very short. <laughs> now, why would I get banned? I'm loved here. Wait a minute, what? I mean, are you blaming on Ethan? Oh, random says, Whitey Shadows, same for you. Oh, gotcha, okay. I missed that. I, totally overlooked I did too. it. I just happened to. That's a good question. 
Uh, Shadow says, I know Ethan and Random. Yeah, well, it's obvious why Random is called Random, but anyway. Yeah, I don't think Shadows gets banned around here. Matter of fact, as you can see, he is a VIP. No banning for YT Shadows. Definitely not going to happen. We're now at the four and a half hour mark of TWA Revolution. Wow. It's been a long night, but a very good night. The fallout show should be very interesting. For both Russell Wars Genesis and for Clash of the Titans. And of course, you guys have not seen the new Clash of the Titans arena yet. Also, there's been, of course, modifications to Russell Wars Genesis. So, some more exciting things coming our way over the next little while. In addition to planning the Joe Link Appreciation Night, the next TWA Hall of Legends show, and of course, the third annual Halloween Havoc. And again, just to remind you, Wrestle Wars Genesis will be live Friday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And to be determined will be our 32nd episode of Clash of the Titans for YTD Live. So stay tuned for that. Ah, let's see here. Froggy Moth Legs has been following the Archiverse for one year, 11 months. And 14 days. YT Shadows has been following the Archiverse for one year, one day, and 10 hours. Uh, Random has been following for two months, six days, and three hours. Uh, Variant of Strife has been following the Archiverse for three months. 22 days and 22 hours. Glanola has been following the Archiverse for two years, six months, four days, and 13 hours. Life is great. And just skip down here. Hold on. Back to try. There we go. Life is great has been following the Edgeverse for one year, seven months, 18 days, and 21 hours. Uh, Random Gamers Boo has been following the Archiverse for one year, two months, 27 days, and 23 hours. That means Random Gamers Boo used to be called something different. Had a different username. For a year and two months, and 27 days, and 23 hours. Uh, Joe Link has been following the Archiverse for two years, two months, and seven days. Oh, sorry, and nine hours. <laughs> Sir Jack says, Archer, we've been together for a whole year. I can hear the bells now. What is wrong with you? You need to work on yourself, Jack. Uh, Shadow says, you typed it wrong, Ethan, you silly goose. Uh, what, did he, what did he spell wrong? I didn't even notice. No idea. I've changed my name so many times, and it's still a year. That's true. Which is weird, because a lot of the times when you change your username, you lose a lot of your uh, credentials as part of a channel and or it can, if you're a, a, a broadcaster or a streamer. You can actually lose most of your followers doing that. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but... All right, so villains. The very apparently, my oh, there we go. The very best in fantasy wrestling excellence, bar none. Period. Currently has one thousand four hundred and seventy-four villains in the fan jam. Strike says, "Got to add a little over a year to our age." So many villains. So many villains, life says. You know what's weird is that 
you know, Twitch says that, but if I go to the desktop site, it'll tell me I have 1,500 followers. So I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on with Twitch. But actually, uh, Glow, I'll check that out. Go, you're, you're on. A, uh, do you have the PC up or anything? What you need? Uh, just go to the Archiverse TV channel and see how many followers it says there. Oh, on YouTube? I mean, Twitch does um, monthly bot sweep, oh. so it's possible that I lost a few followers due to being bots as well. It happens. Here it comes. Because it usually defaults. Ten seconds okay, remaining. Yeah, right here, where it says 1.5k. Yeah, see what I mean? So it's the Twitch app itself that's behind the times, apparently. Wow! No fucking way! You gotta be shitting me! Well, fuck, we gotta run that match back. Either Wrestle Wars Genesis, I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, triple threat submission to Iron Gold match for the TWA World Championship is a draw. So still, your reigning, defending, undisputed TWA World Champion from Team 3 TV, Reese. Reese the Voice Williams, still your champion. Wow, did not expect to end in a fucking draw. That is crazy all right well ladies and gentlemen it was a triple threat iron man match that is Don't it that is all for episode number 519 and of course twa revolution the big spv for 2023 this fall for the archivers tv fantastic show can't can't say more about the show it was a fantastic I mean, every single match was great from the tone setter right to the main event. I didn't like the fact that the main event ended in a draw. Who the hell wants a draw? But it is what it is. But that said, we'll see each other Friday night for sure, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our fallout show for WrestleWars Genesis. I thank everybody for being here as always. Thank you for the Hi, gift everybody. subs to the community. And thanks for being here for TWA Revolution, a 14-match thrill ride. It was a fantastic night. Great conversation with great people. And now, and also, by the way, stay tuned for more information on the To Be Determined time and day How for episode 32 Sir for James Clash of the Titans, YTD Live. But that is it. That is all. We are now going to invade Conman 167. Go share some love and some support uh, to a, a fellow wrestling community and see what they're, what they're doing over there. Uh, well, do you have anything to add? Uh, have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yeah, community. This is one of the most amazing communities I've been a part of. And it's always a good time. And it looks like we've already invaded. Oh. And everybody's got to follow. He's got his. He's got his chat set just to follow. I didn't notice that. All right. Well, I guess I can't tell them to get the fuck out of my channel. They already left. So the show is officially done. I can't believe it ended in a draw. Wow. Sorry, I didn't notice.